no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, Pippa has a hat and cancer! Hi! <laughs> oh. Hello! Greetings to those of you who are new. My name is Pipkin Pippa. I'm from Face Connect. There's no new people here, though. There's never any new people. I have the same audience that I will always have. Because I have I have made a deal with the devil to 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 possess your souls. And now you belong to me, chat. Now you belong to me. I have performed the sacred rites, the sacred ritual. <laughs> who here who this? Oh my god, beeps. Deal seven ten, thank you for the forty dollars. Thank you, thank you. God, I need to take a sip. What the heck? Blah, blah, blah. I have I have coffee. I do not have water. I do not have water. Realistically, I should have gotten water, but don't know message didn't show up. What was your don't know message? Hold on, I'll I'll, I'll check. Hmm. Oh, not many of you have have played this. Coffee dehydrates you. Leave me alone. My shirt's from Halloween stream arrived. Here's your cut of the merch sales. Also a cute hat. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> How many did you get? I should've... I should've got water. I really should've. I got soda! Yep. Soda? Soda instead of water? Does anybody else just drink out of the two liters? Kamikaze, thank you for the five dollars. Can we merge with Iori? Then we... Uh, so we can make more cultists. Oh. Okay. There we go, balancing out the... Balancing out the, the coffee... ...with the two liters of soda. <laughs> Wait, straight up? Yes, yeah, straight up. It goes flat too soon, you just gotta drink more soda. <laughs> I've been very good about drinking water, man, but... Uh, I ran out of I ran out of bottles of water, and I don't like I was not to get anything. Shut up! I ran out of bottles of water, and I've yet to go pick up more. And I don't like um, I'm very I'm very picky with stuff. Soda soda I I I'm generous with. I'll drink soda out of plastic, but I don't like water out of like cups and stuff. It always tastes like like soap or something, you know. A water filter is cheap and goes on the tap? I'm not allowed to like... I'm not allowed to like, hook stuff up like that. I'm an accounting professor in college who drink a 2 liter of coke for every 50 minute class he taught? What a fucking legend. <laughs> there was a very large man. Oh. I'm not large. I'm not large. I know that's very difficult to believe with what I eat. But the secret chat to staying thin is to starve yourself. Just like Jared from Subway. You learned a lot of lessons from Jared from Subway. And there they are! Thank you for the two dollars! Pippa, in Chile, we just elected a YouTuber who was also an intel as a representative of the Chamber of Deputies. Dreams do come true! <gasps> Good for him! Good for him! <laughs> oh my god, that's so good for him! Okay, I'm not gonna bother reading this shit because nobody cares. Nobody cares. Alright, we're playing this for the challenge. We're playing this for the challenge. We're not playing the... I can't believe Pippa got elected! I know! You can get bottles and pitches with replaceable filters on them? Oh, no! That's not what I want to be. I want to be this. This is the closest, I think. I think this is the closest. We can't die or anything. Stuff. Sucks. Or Professor Rowan. Professor Rowan can go suck a pee-pee. 
Friend is for the challenge. So, for those of you who do not know, we are doing the, um... It's not regular Nuzlocke, it is a variant called Triblock. And I just fucking had it up! Pokemon Triblock variant. Hmm. Wait, let's go back to power into this, and I will read this off! The Tri-Block variant is very- Oh, wait, shit, what do we name this guy? Sakuna? Do we, do we name this Sakuna? Management? Do we fight management? Let's fight management. Can't hear the game? Oh. You know, I should probably unmute it. Let's name it Management. Mumi? Me, Chad? Jerry? I'm thinking management. I'm thinking management. Because I also want to theme this in the style of VTubers. Well, I don't know if they're my friends, but. Because the way Triblock works, I'm about to explain this. The Triblock variant is a variant of the Nuzlocke challenge. It is based on the standard Nuzlocke rule set with one significant change. When entering a new area, rather than catching only the first Pokemon you encounter, the player rolls a dice, or rolls a die, or uses a random number generator to produce a number between 1 and 6. Whatever number is rolled, the player must attempt to catch that many Pokemon on the route, and those Pokemon caught make up a tribe. This tribe must always fight together. Meaning, all members of a tribe must be either on your team or in the box at the same time. Hmm. They must remain together and cannot split up. Either the entire tribe is on your team or none of the tribe is. In battle, tribes must fight together. If multiple tribes are in your party, say two tribes of three Pokemon, you may only switch between members of the same tribe and may not switch to members of the other tribe until the battle is over or the entire first tribe has been knocked out. The duplicate claws, claws, ha! And on the three thirty-three, management is the enemy of your enemy, yourself, and therefore your friend. Ah, well, at all. The duplicate claws will normally not be used in this challenge, as early routes may not provide enough different Pokemon to meet the requirements uh, of catching a large tribe. Therefore, it is common in this challenge to have multiple of a Pokemon species in the same tribe, especially in the early game. Other notes, when catching a tribe, standard Nuzlocke rules apply. If you fail to catch a Pokemon and it faints or flees, you lose that encounter. For example, if a player rolled a five... Oh. I got too preemptive. Uh... For example, if a player rolled a five and then accidentally knocked out the first Pokemon they encountered, they would have then four more attempts to catch a Pokemon on that route. And the maximum size of the Roots tribe would decrease to four. Hmm. It is encouraged to follow a theme when nicknaming a tribe to make them feel more distinct and memorable. You might name one tribe after characters from a movie and another tribe after your favorite foods and so on. If a tribe member faints, it must be boxed or released, similar to a standard Nuzlocke rule, and then... Uh, and the size of the tribe is reduced. Surviving members of the tribe can continue to fight. If a Pokémon is the only member of its tribe, it may not switch in battle. If used, it must stay in until the battle is completed or it faints. Depending on the size of your tribes, you may not always be able to have a full team of six Pokemon. If, for example, you had three tribes, each with four Pokemon, you would only be able to have one tribe on your team at a time, and so would only have four Pokemon in your party. How long until Pippa forgets the rules? I won't forget the rules! <coughs> ah. I swear I know where I'm going. Very Pipkin rule set? Shut up. This sounds confusing. Basically... Basically, chat. The rules... I'm gonna... I'm gonna apply it to something we know. Okay, so basically the rules... These are V2... Every route we go to... Are you sick? I think I have a little bit of a cold. Um... <clears throat> so this is also Nuzlocke. So, uh... If a Pokemon... Okay, let's... Let's explain it. Let's explain it like this. 
Um, new route. Yeah, new route means new Pokemon. So um, every new route we go to, it's like a new journey. We go on another another generation of VTubers. Our Pokemon are VTubers, and each route is a new generation of VTubers. You guys voted Pipwop, so I'm choosing Pipwop. I already put him in the top left corner. Uh, and we can also give them names. So you know, like, uh, well, I guess here in Face Connect, we only have we only have Gen One right now, and it's. It's Gen 1, and it's... We have English branch and Japanese branch. But like, using Hololife, for example... You have Hololife Gamers... And with Hololife English, you have Hololife Myth... And Hololife Council. So... We're gonna kinda be doing like that. Each each new route we go on, we're gonna name... We're gonna, we're gonna decide on a theme... For that generation... And then... We're gonna have our little Pokemon VTubers. And if one of those Pokemon faints... We gotta... We, we're still streaming with that generation. We're still streaming with that generation. But there's been a graduation. And we have to keep going with that generation. Until... Until they've all graduated. And we're gonna use a random number generator to decide how many are in our in our generations. We're gonna expand cost. Thank you for five dollars. There are two classes in Pokemon. If you can afford ADHD meds, you stay home. If you can't afford ADHD meds, you're kicked out and become a trainer. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> Was Pippa gonna graduate? Oh my god! But can they come back as Indies, bro? Starter goes bye bye. We're gonna keep the starter. The starter is like our. Actually, you know what? It doesn't explain about the starter. I would assume the starter is like our um. This is like our debut. This is our mascot. This is our mascot, I guess. Dude, this game's ugly. I think it looks a lot better than it did in the trailers. He's the Tribe Master. Yeah, it doesn't explain about the starter. Like, what the fuck do you do with the starter? The starter is Gen Zero. Yeah, so the Gen Zero, uh, uh, the starter is kind of like Sundaria. You know how Sundaria has Gen Zero, where it was uh, uh, Char, Purin, and Kana. Is Slugma Gen Zero? Urara, I mean. Urara? Is Urara Gen 0? Or is Urara Gen 1? Your star starter is Sora. That works. Get your tribe, man. He's nice. <laughs> the starter bears the burden of watching all of its friends graduate. Oh my god! I guess? I don't know. I don't know what our... Wait, do I have Pokeballs yet? I don't have Pokeballs yet, right? So, Nuzlocke officially does not start until you get your balls. And we do not have Pokeballs, so this does not count yet. Starter can be named Melody since she sort of made the VTubing thing explode on the inside. I really like Grape Coon. You guys know I like kimono friends, so I mean we gotta name the we gotta name the penguin Grape Coon. It told me Chris is missing that no, man. What the fuck? Please no, not another one. It's a Switch or DS game? Why they made them all chibi? This is terrible. That's why Rosa is the best attack, and I want to, what? It's it's like this because it's a. It's meant to be a faithful adaptation. Who's the penguin with the waifu? That's Grape Coon. Grape Coon, for those of you who don't know, Grape Coon was a... Uh, there was a zoo that had a collaboration with Kimono Friends. For those of you who don't know what Kimono Friends is, it's a uh, anime and a game. A bunch of games now. Um, where it's anthropomorphized animals. So, like, they're... Um, 
Like, my favorite is lions. Um... It's like, she's like a lion girl. She's like, if a, if a lion was like a person. She's like, got ears and tail, and she's got like the little neck fluff thing. And, um... They live in Japari Park. It's fucking cute, go watch the show. It's so fucking cute, go watch it. Um... So yeah, they had this collaboration and they put cardboard cutouts. The zoo put cardboard cutouts of... Um... Some of the Kimono Friends characters? Inside the zoo exhibits. What show? Kimono Friends. So, Grape Coon, I don't remember what kind of penguin he was. But they put... they put one of the, the penguins... One of the penguins from Kimono Friends inside his exhibit. And he fell in love with his wife. -o. He fell... he felt humbled penguin. Is that what it is? Humble. So... They put a humbled penguin... Kimono Friends... Character. Cutouts. Inside his exhibit. And he fell in love with it, and he would stand by her side, and... I think he, like, tried to feed her and everything. It was so sweet. It was so sweet, and I think last year he ended up passing away? But he was a fucking penguin. With... with an anime waifu. What? Hey, Grip Kun. Why? Is it censoring grape? Cool. Wah. Boo. <laughs> Is this how you would say grape? Apple. Is that is that correct? Is that a correct uh oh go oh. Okay, well I'm trusting you. R E Hold on. I'm so bad with this. I'm taking your word for it, chat. Great though. Uh, but yeah, I'll bring up a picture on screen as well. It was so fucking sad. It was so sad. Um... God, trying to speak and write is hard. You think it needs another P? I'll go with this. Hopefully it's right. And then I'll put a picture up on screen. Um... It's just this really wholesome story. We should've put three Ps! We should've put three Ps! Fuck! There's a... There's a penguin band. In, um... <laughs> there's a penguin... <laughs> there's a... There's a penguin band in Kimono Friends. Oh, that was already 12, 12 characters. Shit, that's right. So this is Grape Gun. And this is his wife. Um... God, it's making me sad. Oh, it's making me sad looking at it. But there's a... There's a <laughs> Japanese... Uh, I'm not Japanese. Fuck, I'm reading the thing. There's a, uh, there's a band of penguins, and they're called Pipipu. It's spelled like P-P-P. -P -P. Ah! Wait, this is a new... Oh no, they made a new cardboard cutout, and they put Grapeco next to his wife! Ah it's so fucking sad! It's so fucking sad. <laughs> uh, okay, so here, 
life. And he would just... <laughs> he would just... <laughs> ah, it's making me sad. <laughs> Man, it's sad. He loved her. He loved her. He would sit by her side. Um... Oh my god, he has a Wikipedia page now! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Wikipedia says how to spell it. We fucked up, Jeff. We fucked up. Should've been G-U-R-E-P-U. -E okay, but... Uh, Gripkun was a Humboldt penguin at Tobo Zoo located in Saitama Prefecture in Japan. His attachment to a cutout character... Cut out of a character from the 2017 anime series Mono Friends. Uh, okay, I lost my place. Hululu earned him international fame. Grip Kun began to have health issues in early October 2017, and the zoo announced his death. Wow, oh, that was in 2017 that he died? He was 21 years old. He was 21 years old. And he found his wife, and he died a happy, peaceful death. He was like, you know what? I have my wife. 21 in human years? 21 in human years. This penguin was born in 1996. Oh. Yeah. Um... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just read this. I'm gonna give you guys a history lesson on Grape Coon. Grape Coon was born at Hamura Zoo in Tokyo in 1996. He was named because of the color of the purple ring placed on his wing for identification. The word Coon is a Japanese honorific usually used when speaking to younger males. It is also commonly used for male pets along with his mate, Midori. He was transferred to Tobo Zoo in 2007. Midori and Grape Coon hatched a chick together, but the zoo removed the baby, citing inbreeding as a reason to separate it from its parents. The experience was difficult for the pair and could have affected the bond between Grape Coon and Midori. Whether that loss was a factor or not, either way, Midori left him for a younger penguin. After a decade of being together. Fucking spot. Penguin bitch spot. Man. Uh, after this occurred, all the other penguins in Grape Coon's exhibit rejected him. And he spent most of his time isolated from the rest of the colony. Midori hates. Midori is a bitch. 3D woman just can't compete. No. His wife left him. He had a wife for over a decade. And his wife left him for a younger guy. That's fucked. But as we, uh, wait, why am I checking? As we know, chat, as we know, he finds love in the superior space, 2D. In April 2017, Tobo Zoo placed 60 cutouts from the popular anime series Kimono Friends around the grounds to attract visitors. The cutout placed in Grape Cone's uh, uh, enclosure, Hululu, was an anthropomorphic Humboldt penguin. Grape Coon would stare at the cutout for hours, going as far as to trying to reach the cutout, which was placed on a tall rock. Oh, did I not need to run back here? No, I did. Okay, good. Um, zookeepers had to separate Grape Coon from the cutout for part of the day so he would eat. Media outlets, this outlets describe Grape Coon as having fallen in love, and the zookeeper or the zoos created a drink called Loving Grape, described as a perfect embodiment of the penguin's relationship with his love. Grape Coon's devotion to the cutout earned him fame and a global fan base on the internet. Hulu's voice actress Ikiko Chikura visited Grape Coon as part of an educational event on penguins. A festival honoring Grape Coon was planned, but his health began to decline in October. The zoo announced his death in October um, on October 12th. Zoo personnel created a small shrine in his honor, and several guests visited the penguin enclosure with flowers. Social media users paid tribute through the hashtag, hashtag Grape Coon. 
and many posted illustrations of Grape Coon and Hulu. In January 2018, Tobu Zoo placed a new cutout in the penguin uh, enclosure, featuring Hulu and an illustration of Grape Coon standing side by side. That was this one. Now do we have Pokeballs? Oh. I can't feel die like Grape Coon! Oh my god. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, thank you for the 333! Bury me with Pippa when I go, bros! Don't let her say no! Oh my god. Man, it, it genuinely makes me so fucking sad, like... Man... He tried to feed out... <laughs> he tried to feed the cutout! He super chatted his Oshi, that's fucking wholesome. He tried his best to be a family man, but he got cucked, so he became a neat and became happy. Rubber Soldier, thank you for the 333. Grip Kun has proved that the concept of waifus is not just limited to humanity, but transcends all species and animals. It's true. It's true. Yeah, we have not officially started the... Uh... Tri block yet. We haven't gotten our Pokeballs. But, um... We're gonna kill some needs just by existing! <laughs> no, Hululu didn't kill him! He loved Hululu! He loved Hululu! That's so fucking sweet that they made a drink farm and everything. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick up some Pokeballs. Uh should we? I don't think we should go hardcore Nuzlocke, because I don't think I'll survive it. I don't think I'll survive hardcore Nuzlocke. So we are gonna use items, but we are not going to use. Vibes. What did you roll? I have not rolled yet. I have not rolled yet. Um. Random number generator. We need to roll a d6. Stop. I got a one. I rolled a one. Wow. It started on a five, and I was like, do I keep that? But no. I got a one. So Gen 1! Gen 1, boys. We have Grape Coon as our overseer, our mascot. And now... Now we start Gen 1. I guess Gen 0. And on, thank you for the twenty dollars. Ah, oh, you hit the bottom text. Do you want me to unhide it? I don't remember why I hit it. There you go. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care what you guys. Well, I do care what you guys do. I do care what you guys do. Don't be degenerates. Yeah, we really are starting off with Sora. And before Rattata, I don't think Rattata's in this. Oh, we did get a bit of. We did get a bit of. Doesn't care about his role. What do you mean? Okay. Slave is his name. There's no H M in this. Sora the bit of. Oh my God. There is no Gen One. 
I was reading chat and I wasn't paying attention. There is no Gen 1. Fuck Gen 1. We're moving on to Gen 2, baby. Right here. <laughs> right here! That's kind of like Bidoof. Okay, I'm rolling. I rolled a 4. And this guy is gonna explain to us how to catch Pokemon. Off to a good start. Honestly, having a... Uh, having... Having a... a tr Our first generation only have one... Pokemon in it is kind of... Bullshit anyways. Unban me from the Discord. Why are you banned from the Discord? What did you do, Puggy? What did you do? Strategically speaking, though, um, having having one Pokemon in our first gen is kind of is kind of dumb because we can't switch it out. So like while we're <laughs> while we're battling and stuff, if we have that Pokemon. It's basically just dead weight. Like a last resort. I'm banned from the Discord, but I maintain my innocence. Also, don't unban me. They don't want me. I'll stay gone. Huh? Ryan, why are you? Why is everybody banned from the fucking? Why is everybody banned? And then, thank you for the 333. Rest in peace, Pucky Doro. He died so young, I can sometimes still hear him. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Don't unban him because it's funny? Oh, okay. They can't control our. Man! <laughs> I'm also banned from the only PCG Discord, but all of Discord? I didn't even post anything? Man, what the fuck? Sometimes I just get bored and my finger slips onto the ban button, you know? Ah, not a huddle. Can't say the gamer word, then what can we say? Ah, uh, literally anything else. Falsely. Capitalists get a little too spicy. Man, Capitalists are toxic. Did you get banned for speedrunning Yandere Dev's Discord? No. I actually kind of wanted to play Yandere, uh... Yandere Simulator. I don't know, Yandere Dev has been a lot less of a... Yandere Dev lately. <laughs> He seems... He seems a lot better lately. Hmm. I learned it from you, Pippa. Oh my god. Did we get any encounters there? I don't think we did. We had the initial thing and then... We had the trainer battle. So let's try and get our... Let's try and get our... <laughs> try and get our Pokemons. He even spawned one of the dwarfs? I only played it a little bit. Oh, oh god damn it. A long, long time ago. You finished the game, that's the most uncharacteristic thing you could possibly do. You didn't finish it, finish it. He hasn't changed anything. He's just not relevant right now. I mean, he put out like a, a game mode that's... Like, showcases the, um... Showcases the game. You said Nado Hodo man. Nado Hodo. That's one. How many died because of chat distraction? Oh my God, none. One. One died. One almost died. And one dies to random crit. Oh god, please no random crits. What number was 
rolling for this roof. Four. Ah, what do I name her? For him, I guess. We're gonna pretend they're all girls. BP? Kizuna? Her? <laughs> Master Chief? Estelle? Well, we'll call her... We'll call her... Right, we're supposed to be... <laughs> we're supposed to be... Um, so we rolled four. So we're picking a theme. We need to pick a theme. For... For Gen 1. We Gen 1 of our... Pokemon VTuber company chat. So what should be what should the theme be? BP male. <laughs> four elements? Oh shit, four elements! That's a good idea, because there's four of them. Okay, okay. Um oh. Let's copy this. This is... this is... Gen 1. Four elements. Where should I put this? We'll just shove it right there. Oh, it's not perfect. And then we will put a little starly on screen! To symbolize the fact that we have a starly in our party now. But Grapecoon is immortal. Grapecoon will be here forever. You need not worry. God, where in the fuck did I put the starters?! Sprites, not starters! God, I can't even yell correctly! Pokemon! Sprites. There they are. Grape is gonna die? Grape Coon is not gonna die. He's not gonna die, chat. Are we gonna put that deceased Bidoof? No. There we go. There we go. Um Oh god, he is my favorite nickname. <laughs> Um... What? We're gonna do... We're gonna do four elements. So what should this one be? A four element theme. Which one... Which one is this? We're gonna have to catch three more after this. On the same route. What? Wind? Air? You know what? Let's just call her Board. I like that name. I like that name. It reminds me of like Board. Wait, era. You know what? I like that better. I'm sorry, Bort fans. I'm sorry. We're going. We're going. We gotta. Wait, wait. They're VTubers. They need a first and last name. Era. Era. Bort. Our very first VTuber chat. The first one to debut. Era Bort. Bort era? PN? You think we should do Bort's first? Bort's era? Reset era? <laughs> I'll make era play cube game against this well. Man... I wasn't even gonna play this. This was management's idea. I get a random DM. They're like... Do you want Pokemon? And I'm like, I already have Pokemon. And they're like... You want to stream Pokemon? I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she got forced to. I didn't get forced to. I was just... I just... I got a suggestion. And I'm very surprised because management doesn't usually... Give any suggestions? 
Like, management... Management is very hands-off with me. I don't know how they are with the others. Give a thank you for five dollars. You're looking... And you're going to look back at this board years from now and be like, What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> could've gotten it for free. I could've. Wonder if Amazon delivered Orca's package yet. Oh yeah, Orca's gonna play this too. Should've got them to get the other version for you. I don't want to waste their money. If I already have the game, then why would I... Why would I just... Like, why would I try and get another version out of them? I have a place Pokemon for free! Thank you, John! Jay, thank you for $5. Management is hands off because they don't want rabbit bites. Ah, uh, maybe. Man, I even... <laughs> I even approach management sometimes. I'm like, hey... I need... Some direction, okay? Like, can you can you help me? Can you help me? And they're like, let me think on it. And then eventually they'll get back to me. And by that point, I'm like, I already I already sorted things, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm too I'm too much of a wild card, I guess. I thought before you said you said before you get uh you play both versions usually. I usually did. Back when I was, like, really hardcore into Pokemon, but... Now it's like, I don't... I don't need to play over the same game twice. Before I used to do it because, like, I do challenges or I pick a different starter, but now it's like, I can just make another Switch profile. Wait, shit, this is our second! This is our second one! We can't skip this! If we knock it out, we lose out. No duels, we have to get duels. Um, I'm gonna try a Pokeball on this. They're twins. Imagine men men exist as a group of black obelisks like Seal and Evangelion. Oh my god. Evangelion? How do you pronounce it? For a while, for a while, I had, I, I had like a, a midlife crisis with my streams. I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I wanted... <sighs> Start thinking of the names. We we need... There's four elements. We already did air. So maybe we need... We need water, earth, and fire? Name this one, Aria Strom? What? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> um... Taco, what the fuck? Air two. Earth element this time? Foss? We'll make... We can make the... Well, maybe not. <laughs> the four elements! Air, air. <laughs> air and fire. Were you ever into competitive or smog and stuff? I watch videos on it. Thank you for the five dollars, by the way. I watch videos on it, but I'm not, um... We call her Hydro Foss. Listen, this one's a delta species, alright? This one's a delta species. A Sinolean... Sinolean... Starly. Can Starly learn any water-type moves? Wonder... That'd be neat. But, um... I call it Delta Variant. I meant Delta Species. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Delta Species is a uh, gimmick in the card games. In the card games... Uh, the, the Pokemon trading card game, there's a gimmick called Delta Species. And it, um, it turns Pokemon into different types. Pretty as lip. <laughs> Pokemon 19! Jazz, what the fuck?! <laughs> um... No, I like watching Pokemon Showdown videos. 
And I like watching people play competitively, but I'm not... I'm not good. So... Like, you guys should see me play... Fuck! Oh my god. The shit again. <laughs> A third fucking Starly chat! We're gonna get crazy. Air. Ah, why did I do that? Air. <laughs> Force. Yeah, we're getting crazy. We're getting crazy with our gen names. We're getting crazy. We're getting crazy. Oh my god. You guys wanna know the story? You guys wanna know the story about my uh about my name? <laughs> so Pipkin Pippa, I, I that's that is my name and I came up with it. And I really I really don't like most VTuber names. I really don't like most VTuber names, you know? Because I'll never remember them, right? Like, what is Toa's last name? I don't remember. I love Toa, I don't remember her last name. For the longest time, I couldn't remember Watsumi's last name. I was like, I don't want something... Tokoyami? Ah. I was like, I don't want something that I'm not gonna be able to remember, you know? Like, I don't want, like, a... Japanese name or something. I don't like Jap- Shut up, Azahara. I like Japanese names, it's just, I don't like... Most of them. So, like, um... Matsumi's last name is Watsumi. Shut up. I mean, I know now, but... So, I... What did you say? What do you mean? I just- I didn't want a name like that, because I can never remember them. I can never remember them. So I was like, oh okay. yeah. And I looked at Gura's name and I was like, I have no idea how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce this. Actually. I have no idea like how it's actually pronounced. I say Gar Gura. And Chad makes fun of me, they're like, Gura. <laughs> so you are starly. But I like how it looks, you know? I like how Gargura looks on paper. I like how it looks on paper. I, I looked at Gura's name and I was like, that looks nice. You know? Like, the most... The most stuff a VTuber does is basically, like, marketing and stuff. And I'm like... Um... Twitter and everything. So I want something that, like, looks nice written. And I said Sakuma, a bunch of names. Bunch of name ideas. Oh, I wonder if I can find them. Oh my god, I wonder if I can find the original names. Um. That, that could be fun. 
fun. That could be really fun. Hold on, let me look up, uh, let me try to find what the other names were. You need the old names? Please do. <laughs> um. But yeah, so, so one of them was obviously Pipkin Pippa. And that was the name that stuck the most with me, you know? I just, it stuck with me so... So well. I was like... That was the name I was thinking of. Like, all the time. That was like the name that like I vibed with. And, um... Oh god, where... Fuck, this was so long ago. Um... But I had a lot of... I had a lot of... I had a lot of ideas. One of them... One of the ideas that I did have... Was Japanese names. A lot of them were, were Japanese names. Because, like, that's just kind of like the standard, you know? Fuck! Where did I put it?! Oh my god, I'm so... Hold on. But the me that you see right now was not finalized yet. The me that you see right now did not... did not exist. Um... View old conversations. Maybe these don't exist. This is getting meta. You're breaking. No, I'll listen. Shut up. In what Discord? Yeah, how do you. How do you view. I don't know, figure it out? Man, I fucking hate Discord chat. Fucking Discord, such a pain in the ass. God damn it. Hold on. Top right? What the fuck is top right button? You think it would be easy because I never talked to anybody, but still, somehow, everything gets so lost. How the fuck does everything... Oh, wait, is that it? Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay. At first, I pushed very hard. I pushed very hard for for warship theming. I pushed very very hard for warship theming. You know, slap some slap some artillery on me. You know, I was like, let's let's do that. And he was like, uh. I don't know about that one. That never happened. <laughs> so that never happened. Um. But the names, the names that I sent. <laughs> Shipkin Shippa. <laughs> that would have been cute. That would have been cute. Uh, the names that I sent. We're breaking lore here, chat. We're breaking... We're not breaking lore. I'm a rabbit from Phase World, alright? It's just I had to choose a name that translated well into English. But then I chose something that, uh... Was very... More in my native language, you know? My native language is Piplish. Like... <laughs> but I was looking into alternate names, you know? Yeah, name for a passport. So, the names that I sent... The names that I sent... Were Holly Pipkin... Rosemary Finch... 
Pippa Sawyer, Clover Kaluna. Well, that was the first batch. That was the first batch. And then the second batch was Pipkin Pippa, Hanfei, Lamb Lapine, and Nami Norine. <laughs> Sawyer. What's wrong with Sawyer? <laughs> And then the last batch of names that I sent. <laughs> the last... <laughs> the last batch that I sent. Were, uh... I, I like Kiara's name. I like Kiara's name. I like how Kiara is a... English name. And then Takanashi is a Japanese last name. So it kind of like blends them. Kiryu Jen, thank you for the 690. While we were talking about how you want... How you got your name... Want to confess, Pippa is... What? Pippa is slang for sexual intercourse in Swedish? What the fuck? Orange? Orange woman? Orange woman? I think Takanashi Kiara is a good name because like, it's got the... It's got the... Um... Like the Japanese staple to it, you know? It's got the Japanese staple to it with Takanashi. But then it's got a name I can actually fucking remember. Kiara. Kiara is an easy name to remember. So I sent. <laughs> Choose your words wisely. The KFPs are now listening. Oh god. <laughs> so the names I sent were Sanyu Summer, Izumi Iris, and Arisagawa Ao. Ah. Ah! Arisagawa Aris. So yeah. I can write them down. I can write them down so it's easier to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Um. Hold on. Not that you can see this this text. Um. Uh. Hold on. Let me make it black. What? Can you see that? There we go. Me. So this is what I sent While trying to get my my earth passport Hard to speak This is what I sent For some reason. <laughs> Angora clone. <laughs> Me. You see a bit better now, maybe? There we go. I had forgotten about rabbits and Watership Down having a named language. That's right, they do. Oh, my doxing! Rosemary Finch would have been too cottagecore. I thought I was really cute. Arisagawa Alice is great. I really like that one too. I really like that one too. Kanji and names, I wouldn't all fucking know. Is it Arisagawa Alice? Just Alice Alice? Uh, no, I don't remember what the kanji for Arisagawa is. Not as easy of a name to say. Mm. Where did you pull the kanji from? I don't remember. I don't remember. Izumi Iris is pretty cool. I do think Pipkin Pippa is the best. I hope I hope Pipkin Pippa is the best. <laughs> we know all of our alts now, please. Secretly leaking Gen 2. Oh my god. I really like a lot of these though. I really like a lot of these. <laughs> Pippa Sawyer also has a has a soft spot in my heart. I don't know why. Can't picture anything but Pipkin 
and Pippa at this point? Are these names trademarked now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Izumi Iris is my oh <laughs> Pipkin Pippa is pretty memorable. How about your brother, Pipkin Pedro? <laughs> uh, in the end, Pipkin Pippa really is the best choice. Rosemary Finch sounds like an actual name, though. It does. There's already an Arisagawa Alice. It's an Amazon author. Oh. You're me making an NFT out of these names. What the hell? But yeah, I thought I thought long and hard about these. I thought long and hard about these. And they were all names that the only ones looking back on it that I really don't like. I really don't like Fan Fei. Um And Holly Pipkin just doesn't roll off the tongue at all, I don't think. Rosemary Finch makes me think of a middle-aged author that writes kind of mediocre romance novels. No idea where you pulled Sanyu from, but damn, that reading is weird. Don't remember either. This is all like pip pip I'm glad. I'm glad. But Cottagecore, why don't you guys uh, uh, mention Cottagecore? I don't know if I already said it, but Cottagecore was definitely the... The influence. Um... I also thought of, uh... I also thought of an acronym. <laughs> also, let's do some leveling while I, while I go through this. Uh, I also thought of an acronym. Um... Because I was really pushing the worship thing, you know? I was hoping for... I was hoping for... <laughs> some upgrades, you know? I was hoping for some upgrades. Well, I spent... I spent multiple days trying to think of a... Trying to think of an acronym. Because, you know, like, warships have, like, USS, which is... I mean, exactly, like, what's on the tin. Um... United States ship, and, um... KM, Kriegsmarine, and... Uh... IJN, Imperial Japanese Navy. So... I spent a long time. Yeah, HMS, Her Majesty's Ship. I spent a long time trying to think of, um... Trying to think of names. Pokemon, are you going for? We're not going for any right now. We're, we're... I'm trying to get some levels. Pokemon stream win, or is that too... Yeah, we could do a boat, uh, boat stream. Um... Are you aware you are a rabbit and not a ship? I could have had upgrades, damn it! I could have had upgrades! So I was hoping for... I was hoping for upgrades, you know? I was hoping for upgrades. And... His <laughs> Majesty's <the> Yam! <laughs> I really wanted that ship rigging. I really, really did. My Jan was not actually used by Imperial Japanese Navy? Real? I always see it on, like, model kit boxes and stuff, but, um... So I spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time trying to... What the fuck did I just do? Everything closed. Like, not close closed, but minimized. I spent a long time trying to think of stuff. And the acronym... ...that I came up with. Oh, why is it frozen? The acronym that I came up with. <laughs> desktop. You didn't see my desktop. You saw. Uh, you saw game capture. You're immersion. I'm using a capture card. What immersion? But um, there's no personal information there. Chat. Shut up. But, um... I can see the gold. <laughs> um... Shit, what was I gonna say? Ah, the acronym that I came up with. After... 
Got your AP? Of course. <laughs> oh no, my real name. <laughs> you know, you know, you. It's true, chat. It's true. My real name. It's actually. Good luck finding me. I don't exist in your human records. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I don't think any uh, anyone saw anything important. I've already... Checked that, uh... The game capture thing. There's nothing on there. But, um... I think anyways... Actually, now I'm getting kind of paranoid with all the jokes. I don't think there's anything though. I already checked that. But um Nothing worth saving. But anyways, anyways, the acronym? The acronym that I came up with. <laughs> the acronym that I came up with. Ah, I'm fine. Okay, thank you. Um was pecan. The acronym that I came up with was pecan. The the like the phase connect. Phase connect like ship uh acronym. Yeah, I accidentally murdered my fourth Pokemon. Spelt uh how's it spelt? Ah, P hyphen C A N. Pecan. And I thought that was fucking adorable. I thought long and hard on that. I thought long and hard on that. It stands for Face Connect Advanced Navy. But management did not go for it. <laughs> management did not go for it. Uh, so originally, originally, I think what I sent was, um... I think I sent, uh... Pecan Pippa. <laughs> I think I sent that at some point, it was Pecan Pippa. Management is stealing the idea for later? Man, that would be kind of fucked. I begged, chat! I begged! I was like, please. Please. Just give me some turrets. Just give me some turrets! <laughs> this one is against pee bottles, but pee cans are... Oh my god, what the fuck? How deep are you in the ship, girls? Pretty deep. <laughs> but, um... I rolled up, I rolled up, like, uh, I rolled up a lot of information. I rolled up so much information. Um. While well, we're getting really meta. <gasps> oh, wait, the first, the first concept I ever sent. The first concept that I ever sent. Was, uh... I wasn't super fond of it, but my brain was just flowing with ideas. But I sent, uh... I sent the name Tsukiyomi. And I, I had written out... I had written out so much lore. I had written out so much fucking lore. <laughs> Management must have been like, ah, oh, she's a little too into this. <laughs> she's a little... She's a little too into this. But, um... Tsukiyomi, like the, uh, it's a, it's a, from Japanese mythology. Lord dumb, please? Maybe someday, maybe someday. <laughs> um, <laughs> Management was 
feels like she must have level 22, Pipkin. <laughs> um... But I even thought of, like, catchphrases and stuff. I thought of catchphrases. And I decided that, like, if, if management agreed with it. Was that Tsukuyomi? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, it's Tsukuyomi. Um... I don't remember all of them. One of them... One of them was... Uh, oh, I erased everything on that. Hold on. Uh, one of them was greeting people by calling them Shikikan. So like in Azure Lane, your ships, they call you Captain. And I was like, I want to do that. So I'll, uh... <laughs> I thought of stuff like, ready to set sail, Shikikan? Or Shikikan. Shikikan. How are we pronouncing it? Cringy! <laughs> Cringe! Oh, pain. The pain. <laughs> Cringe! <laughs> no! Thank God you didn't go with that. Chicky gum. Chicky gum. I don't know how to. I don't know how to say it with like a proper accent. Yeah, you guys ended up with PPP as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, the trailer thing. The trailer. The first ever teaser. The first ever teaser. Um. I sent like 20 pieces of dialogue. Management was like, okay, we need something for the teaser. Can you guys record some lines for us and we'll pick which ones... Oh, we'll pick some... ...to use on the teaser. And I sent so many! I got the teaser as an ad for a freaking month? Oh my god. Um... I sent so many. I sent so fucking many. And the one... And the one that they picked! Was the word where I was like, fuck it! I don't know what else to record! I don't know what else to do! <laughs> and that's the one they fucking picked! That was Jones teaser! No, that was a shit post! That was a shit post that the management turned into an ad! <laughs> they turned that into a fucking ad! I'm sitting here like, that one? And I remember feeling so cringy watching the teaser because everybody else... Uh, Leah's like... Your heroine has arrived! But, uh, where's all the fun stuff to kill? And Urka's like... Uchikura Urka! Your local dumpster diving trash bear! And everybody else... Everybody else is saying stuff, man. They're saying stuff. They sound so good. And I come in like a fucking idiot! <laughs> Everyone's got like fucking RPG game trailer intros and I'm just a fucking idiot! Spouting gibberish! Do you guys... Some of you guys are new. I don't know if you even know that. I don't know if you even know... Don't use an electric type of one. Hold on. Let me find the... Let me find the original trailer. It's so... Fuck! I was like, man! Man! My poor gen mates! My poor gen mates! For what it's worth... I mean, if, uh, if I'm here, I guess the end works. Well, welcome to the stream. <laughs> welcome to the stream. You never saw it? Let me put it on... 
on screen. It's pretty fucking funny. Hold on. Fucking ads. Fuck. Wait, turn off the game zone. Your resident dumpster diving trash bear, Fujikura Uruka, here to break your ears. You really stood out? Yeah, in the way that a kid eating glue stands out from the rest of his class. Something, you know? Not that I can turn this off, but not that I can not that I can choose to be a fucking normal person, but maybe they'll find it cute or endearing. But no. They were like, holy shit, this rabbit didn't prepare at all. <laughs> never third person, no weird vocal tick after sentences either. I never had a vocal tick. Third person is just how Pipwish works, you know? I had to I had to learn how to speak English properly. Hmm. None of us are normal. <laughs> but um I don't have a lisp! God fucking damn it, Jeff. 
But, um... The cringiest is the cutest? Oh, God. Uh, I... I really... I really tried to prepare, like, as much as possible for my debut stuff. But it all kind of happened, like, all at once. Like the part where in chat's not gonna yell, NO GAS! <laughs> I got a message from management during my debut! I got a message from management during my debut! <laughs> they were like, apologize to the viewers. For pointing a gun at them. <laughs> I was like, ah. Yeah, in my debut, I pointed a gun at people. <laughs> but we like that! Oh my god. My chat has brain damage. It's just like me, bros! But, um... <laughs> ah. And then I got so... I got so caught up in things, you know? It's after... after debut... After debut, things get very, um... For me personally, anyways, I got so sucked into things. I kinda wish that, uh... I know for practical reasons you can't really do this, but I think anybody that's, um... Oops. Anybody that does, like, a debut stream or anything? After your first couple streams, I think you should step back and analyze like what works and how things are going. And try to figure things out. I I just kept going and going and going. Trying to trying to like figure things out, but I didn't I didn't step back into it, so like I Uh, and I made another mistake. Uh, after my debut, my next stream, my scheduled stream after my debut... ...was like six hours after my debut. I did my debut stream at night, and then I did my first stream in the morning. And I, um... I only got like three hours of sleep. And I ended up being so cringy in my first stream, I felt so ashamed and so embarrassed. <laughs> when I'm... I can... I don't really come off as being very composed. I don't come off as being very composed, but when I'm not composed... I'm so... I'm so cringy. Is that why you take Mondays off now? Yeah, I take off Sundays and Mondays. I used to take off Mondays and Tuesdays, but now I switch to Sundays and Mondays. But I like to take two days off because I find if I... If I don't... I don't really digest my week at all. And it's like... My brain just keeps going and going and going and never resets at all. And I end up getting like lost in... My own mind and, and lost and stuff and I feel like the quality of my streams decreases really bad. The one thing that I want to do is when I'm when I'm able to, I want to stream longer each day. I don't want to stream more days, but I want to stream longer each day. Um, but I also like shorter streams, so I'm thinking maybe maybe when I can, I'd like to do a stream in the morning and a stream at night. Maybe that rather than just doing longer streams, but but more stream more stream time in general, I want to do. I feel like the perfect formula for streaming, for me anyways, like... I'm a... I'm not just a streamer, you know? I watch streams. I watch a lot of streams. So, the thing that I wish... Is that instead of doing, like, one big long stream... Is I wish that streamers would do, like, some shorter streams throughout the day, you know? Like, a two-hour stream here, a two-hour stream there. Because then it's also... It also makes me... Because, like, I fucking hate it, chat. I hate it so much when a streamer I like is playing a game that I have no interest in. I hate it so much. When they're playing... When they're when they're playing a game I have no interest in. When they're doing a type of stream I have no interest in. And they'll go for, like, eight hours and I'm sitting here like, man... 
Like, I'm just not gonna sit there and watch that. Like, I'd rather... Two hours... Of, of different streams. You know, you can just not watch, right? Well, yeah, that's what I do, is I just not watch. But, um... Oh, man. But I'm somebody that's really into, like, the novelty of things as well. Like, I like it when somebody is playing... I like a lot of shorter games, you know? Like, Gura's West of Loathing stream is one of my favorites. Because it's just something kind of short and silly. I really like that stream. Leave it on as a background noise and do something else. The guy I watched just finished streaming for 16 hours on Slitherlink game? Well, there you go, that. I wish so much she played more of that. That was such a fucking good stream. Same, I also feel whenever... Feel the same whenever a streamer plays a game I really want to play but would just rather experience first by myself. Man, that's another thing! That's another thing! Shut up, chat. Watami is my Yoshi, alright? I have my complaints, but Watami is my Yoshi. Well, Watami does do some really long streams. But, um... I don't know. I'm not really somebody that's in things for the long haul, I guess. Like, when I watch... When I watch people play games... I generally want to get like a like a demo of a game. I want to watch them play something and have their fun with it, and then move on because it's like like with Minecraft. Like with Minecraft. <laughs> like with Minecraft, it's like man, it feels like I'm just watching nothing. It feels like I'm just watching nothing. Like I really wish. More people would do, like, shorter games. Just little stuff here and there, and I try to make my content reflect that. But then I also get a lot of people that, are, like, end up upset, like, Oh... Um... Well, you never finish anything, or... Well, you never... you never stick to anything, and it's like, because I don't... I don't enjoy watching that. Not so much... Uh, not much people do map game streams. So fat chance of my Yoshi touching them. Map game streams? What do you mean, little lagger? I have no interest in MMOs, but I still watch you play them because they make them... Make them oh, thank you, Robert. When are you gonna finish Fear? Man, I don't know if I'm gonna finish Fear. You have ADHD. No? Uh. No. <laughs> the world is very convincing. What do you mean? <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> There's so many, there's so many things I'd fine tune, but there's nothing I'd really change. I'm pretty happy with my content. I just need to, I just need to settle on it, and I need to, I need to fine tune it. I really wanna. I don't have much free time right now. So I really wanna spend one of my streams each week being like something I did a lot of research on. And it being like a deep dive and mostly a presentation. And then I still want to do the book club. And then the rest are just like filler streams, you know, like game and stuff. Which I mean, isn't really filler, but... Less, less work. <laughs> less work. I kind of, I kind of, um... Underestimated the, the fed smoker stuff a little bit. I was like, I can get this done in a week. What? What's that burning smell? Oh my god, Dario. No, 
don't try to overwhelm or don't try to overwhelm trying to do everything at once. That's why as much as I would have liked to have done more like wall cast streams and stuff. It's very hard trying to compile because I learned the hard way. You can't just You can't you can't just jump into the wall cast stuff. You can't just show that stuff on screen. And I thought I was doing okay with like improvising on my streams and stuff. I thought I I thought I was pretty okay at improvising, but a lot of people do not like the improv stuff. And it led me to like kind of sit back and think on it critically and like yeah, there's a lot of downtime and it can feel kind of aimless. You have to walk a very fine line with that stuff. Yeah. Those were all great streams. Well, thank you. Well, Cal streams require a lot of preparation and even know how his lore experts to help him compile information for his content. He doesn't put everything together himself. I need some historians. <laughs> I need to... Uh, I need to recruit the aid of some historians. My um. Yeah, I'm always I'm always trying to improve my content. You might not you might not see it on the front, but Consult no oh my god. You think they'll help you for free? I mean I'm not opposed to paying. History stream confirmed. Uh, I have one stream... I, I decided that I'm gonna try and do some streams on some stuff that I already know quite a bit about. Um... So, like, the Winchester Mystery House. I had it planned for Friday, but then I, I fucked up the scheduling. I didn't realize... Uh, Mi-chan wanted to do the watch-along during, like, my normal stream slot. So I moved the I moved the Winchester stuff to Wednesday of next week. I don't know if that's a said day yet. I don't know if we should take like a one week break from book club stuff to try and find something else. I don't know. I'm still thinking on things. I'm still thinking on things. I was gonna move it to next Friday, but next Friday is is Mi-chan's birthday. I think is my time is my timeline correct? December third. December 3rd is Mi-chan, right? Sorry, that's soon, yeah. If I get the drawing chat, you better prepare lots of... Well, you better prepare lots of gifts for Mi-chan. Yeah, Mi-chan is December 3rd. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um... Pipkin... Pipkinet... Detect... Man, what the fuck? Where's yours? Three, three! <laughs> I forgot my own fucking birthday for a moment. <laughs> it's three, three! But, um... I couldn't remember what month three is. I still don't know it's March, right? <laughs> We're gonna be turning three for the third time? You know it. It's March! <laughs> if I do your month's reps, man. Are you sure it's March? No. Listen, you see, in Piplish, March is... 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 Alright, you wouldn't understand, humans. <laughs> January. <laughs> uh, I think I've heard it before, but I thought it was part of the I'm three joke. It is part of the I'm three. I'm three old, three tall, three weighed. Bet you don't remember the name of the... There's names of the weeks? What the fuck?
But, um... 145 centimeters tall. Three tall? Three... I no! 300 IQ. 300 IQ! What type? Three? Three... <laughs> I think I did put blood type 3 <laughs> I don't remember 3 felonies? <laughs> um... But yeah... <laughs> but yeah, man Blood type, not 3 Three active arrest warrants? <laughs> but, uh... God, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Man, I hope... Bruh... I hope Gentle... Is alright. Like... That sounds so ominous, right? That sounds so ominous. But, like, I hope Gentle, um... Doesn't have to deal with some of like the stress and uncertainty that I did. <laughs> but I was also really, I was also like really overcommitted. I was really overcommitted. Um, probably to the point of annoying my genmates. Oh, probably to the point of annoying my genmates. I always tried, I always tried talking and stuff in the Discord. I was always like posting stuff. And, and making like little tutorials and stuff for them. Uh, me and Michan, me and Michan made a bunch of like little uh, presentations for the other members. And I don't think anybody ended up actually using any of it. I think, I think. <laughs> Yeah, Michan, Michan tried uh, as well making like uh, to make things more inclusive for like the Japanese members because so many of us uh, speak English but not Japanese. So Michan tried really hard to make things inclusive for the Japanese members, <laughs> and I think we were both overthinking things a bunch. Instead of, um... I guess, like, letting things happen naturally and letting people... take the incentive on things that they... they wanted or wanted help with. We both... we both pushed on people a bunch. But hopefully... hopefully Gentoo isn't, um... I think, I think Gen 2 will have like a better, I guess, sense of self, you know, a better sense of identity. Because Face Connect is already established. Face Connect is already established. So before, I wasn't really sure, like, what kind of. Like, what the. I guess what the company culture would be, you know? I wasn't sure what the company culture was. I just imagine Pippa calmly. or telling calmly to the new Gen mates, like. Look, you see this channel? The Capitalist? Yes, never enter! <laughs> mm. Oh man. You're gonna search your senpai sta status on them. I did. I did. I think I scared a few of them though, so now I've been very quiet. <laughs> I've been very quiet. I, I try not to be... I don't want to be annoying or overbearing, so I don't... I don't... um... Push as much anymore. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't want Gen 2 to hate me already. <laughs> I'm gonna bully them to show dominance. I think I'm I'm comfy where I am. You know I'm comfy where I am. If the others wanna approach me for things, wanna approach me for claps. I'll do it, but... I 
I have I have Michan and I annoy Michan with everything and That's probably enough. I probably shouldn't I probably shouldn't drive Jen too crazy. <laughs> Gen 3 win! Oh my god, Gen 3 is on me, baby! Gen 3 is on me, baby! Ah uh... Ah, funny, funny thing. Getting, getting, getting meta. Getting meta again. Um. So, like, the me that you see now... Was... Was uncertain at the time, you know? Was uncertain at the time. I could have styled my hair differently, you don't know. <laughs> but, um... Ah, what was I gonna say? Ah, I sent... I sent the references. I sent references to send the... Originally, originally, I, I told us already. Originally... The first things I said... Uh, to management. Can't wait for... Can't wait to drop Pippa from my new Gen 3 Yoshi, Pippa? <laughs> Connie, thank you for the 333! Ah, uh, I'm trying not to get too meta with this. I'm trying not to get too meta with this, but like... Being... being kind of meta. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Being kind of meta. Okay. Um... Like, some of the things I told management were like... Oh, yeah, like, I like rabbits. I like rabbits. He saved his dad, don't worry! <laughs> I like rabbits. Um... Because originally they were showing me a, a cat. A purple cat. And I was like, I like rabbits. Um. And then, and then, uh. Me chan stuff started happening. And I was like, wait. Wait. Um. There is a, there's a merch line. In Japan, that I really love. It's about it's about a fox and a tanuki. It's about a fox and a tanuki. And um, I said I want to be I want to be a fox and a tanuki with with Mitan. It didn't really matter who was who. I just wanted to be matching like that, you know. It's a classic tale in Japan. Mm. I thought that was so cute. I thought that was so cute. I thought it'd be so cute if me and Mitan matched. Cause me and Michan joined together. Um. But by this point, I guess uh, Cherry Mama, my my art mama, had already started. So, and Michan Michan ended up with the fox. It ended up working out pretty well, I think. I was really sad. I really... I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is cheesy, but I was really hoping to match, like, um... You know, you know how, like, Noel and, and Flair have, like, the, the one outfit that matches, and, uh... uh Korine and Okayu are very, very matchy-matchy. I really wanted something like that. <laughs> Does Gen 3 Pippa count as the young replacement? Can I cheat on my Yoshi while still... St still staying... Oh... Ah! Faithful to my Yoshi. Ah. I don't think it counts like that, man. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> but, um... Fox and Rabbit is a pretty classic tale on the West, though. True. Maybe for next costumes. Maybe. Uh... Wish you luck. Hope you got a bond buddy and gentle. I already have Michan. I'm just being greedy. Good Michan matching color palette. Kind of. Kind of. Can you bring your little brother into Face Connect? Oh my god. There have been... There have been a lot of people that I that I looked at and was like, man, can we kidnap them? <laughs> manager, manager, man, manager son, manager son, can we kidnap them? And they're like, Pippa, that's not how this works. <laughs> mm. Is okay to be greedy? Looking forward to your interactions with next gen. Same, same. Well, I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna force it. If they wanna... If they wanna... 
interact, I will interact. But I'm not gonna... I'm not... I'm gonna be a good senpai and I'm gonna respect boundaries. Hmm, hmm. Um... Why is it? No! I, listen, I already did that. <laughs> did the hits are gentle me? Oh my god. At first, at first that meme made me very, um... That meme stressed me out a lot. <laughs> at first that meme stressed me out a lot. I mean, now I don't care, but at first I was like, I don't... I was very, I was very upset by it. Not like super upset by it, but I was like, I tried very hard, you know? I tried very hard though. Um, how do I say this? Like, like bond and everything, and interact. You are going to respect their independence by knocking before entering, but asserting your senpai authority by coming in anyway. Oh my god. But um. <laughs> hmm. So, so like when I read the hate stuff, I was like, man, is that how it comes off? <laughs> Is that how I come off? But... But I know I don't hate my genmates. People are just joking around. And if people... If there are people that unironically do think that... I wouldn't be surprised. I'm pretty... I'm pretty fucking bad at social interaction. I can't blame them. But, um... I don't blame anybody for thinking that. Be American, Pippa! Don't be a senpai, be a mentor. Oh. I offered... I offered help, I think. Oh, maybe I should offer help again. I don't remember if I did or not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm pretty... I'm pretty, um... I'm trying to be in an unintrusive. Why does Pippa care if her fans think she hates her gen mates? She hates her fans, after all. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Pokemon trainer management! <laughs> oh, so this... This, um... The me that you see now... Was inspired by another thing, another thing. I'm not very savvy, I guess, on the business side. I'm very grateful. Uh, Sakuna is very communicative with me with things. Like if I ask a question, Sakuna will explain like his reasoning behind everything. And I really love that. I really love um like all the all the things that I've learned basically just from just from asking Sakuna like a million questions. Uh, yeah, based Sakuna. One of the things, one of the things that I, I pushed for a while, I was like, hey... Hey, like, I really like... This, uh, we'll say outfit. I really like this outfit that already exists. Somebody's selling this outfit, and I really like it. Can I, can I wear this? Can I wear this for debut? And Sakuna was like, no, you can't just... No, that, no. And I was like, but... <laughs> But it's cheaper. It's cheaper than having something like custom made, you know? And he was like, no, we can't. We'll make you a new outfit. <laughs> but, um. But, <laughs> hmm. Um. Graphic consists of a jacket. <laughs> Which men's does default. Oh my god. No, sweetie, we have outfit at all. Uh, what was the old outfit? The old outfit... Uh, was a white wig. Um... It was, it was, we'll say like a white wig... With, I think like a pink sweater? And a rabbit plushie. Can I be Pakora? <laughs> It still exists out there. It still exists out there. It never, it never did uh, get sold. Wait, is this a new route? Do we have to catch this route? I kind of want to just 
Or... We have our current gen. I think we'll put... Uh, Route 203 on the back burner. For right now, because we can't swap out tribes. Wait, no. We should do it anyways. We should do it anyways. We're not allowed to mix. We can't mix our generations. But we can put them in the reserve so they're getting EXP. I rolled a fucking one. I hate, I hate this game. I hate dice. But, um, Pippa hates Unity. Oh my god. Ah, no! No! This fucking thing! I can't hit it once or if I hit it, it'll teleport! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah, for those of you who don't know, Abra is a Pokemon that's, uh, the one move that it does. When you're fighting it, is it'll teleport. So if I go to hit it and its EXP or its uh, health drops, it'll just teleport. It'll teleport away and it leaves battle. So my only option is to just throw a Pokeball point blank. Come on, come on, come on, baby, let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, baby, I believe. <gasps> God. Okay, so Abra is Gen. Abra is Gen two. We only have one. We only have one item for Gen two. What do we name it? What do we name it? Let's go! You'll say, thank you for the five dollars. Our Jesus was carrying us the entire time. Kadabra, Gen one. Voldemort, Garden, Hachima. <laughs> Abra is not Gen two. Abra is Gen two. Something male? He's a V singer. Yeah, he's a V singer. Oh, Gen two. Abra's Gen one. Oh wait, is this our Gen one? No, this is our Gen one. Okay, you want this to be Gen one, and then is this changing both of them? This is changing both of them. God damn it! Hold on. Remove this. Okay, so this was Gen Zero. Four elements. I guess we should just call it. It was supposed to be four elements. Let's call this birds. <laughs> this is Gen Zero. The fucking birds. <laughs> just birds. And then. Gen 1 V Singer okay, Where are the Pokeballs? Hold on, can I just... <laughs> Man, this is terrible! This is terrible! For those of you who don't know, we can't mix our generations we can't mix our generations at all, so like... In order to be able to use... Our new Abra... We have to wait for either everybody else to get knocked out, or we can only use him in battle. Or I guess we could use him and... Grapecoon. I guess Grapecoon's kind of our wild card. Where is Abra in this? Hold on. Bum, 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 bum. Isn't Abra a rare one? Abra's kind of Abra's kind of rare from this, isn't he? I don't think I don't think Abra's what who usually pops up here. I think you can also get Weasel. And uh, man, Abra's just not fucking popping up in the sprite list. What the hell? 
Abra, like Pokemon. Uh, Abra is like five percent. Abba. <laughs> Abba. Okay, we'll see. Uh, so Abra is like a different gen, so we gotta give him like a different art style. Clearly. There we go. But they need a last name. Wait, no they don't. I guess Iris is only Iris, right? Dance and clean. <laughs> That's not just an excuse to cover up a different source for the PNG. No, not at all. Iris? Oh, that would've been good too. Um... Man, what's some more forbidden knowledge? It has one, but it's a secret. Ah. What's some more forbidden knowledge? Uh. But yeah, there. It still exists out there. It's. It still exists out there. That outfit. With white hair, with short white hair, and uh, eyes that cover bangs. Eyes that cover bangs. Bangs. Bangs that cover eyes, partially. And, um... We need to store the Abra because of his gen and XP share. You think so? Should we store Abra so he doesn't benefit from the XP share? It's not super short hair. It's just like... It's just like, um... You guys think we should cover him? Uh, cover... Fuck, I can't... Fuck! I thought we already fought him. Okay, aside from this battle... <laughs> aside from this battle, we're gonna go store ABBA. Reset! Fuck you! I'm not gonna reset the entire game just for this Guaydas. I haven't saved. Wait, yeah, you can have multiple tribes in the same party as long as each tribe is fully represented. Right, yeah, so no, fuck you guys. We leave him in the party. We leave him in the party, that's... Fuck, where did they go? Hold on, variants? Does lock variants? Try block. Um... Yeah, all members of a tribe must be either on your team or in a or in the box at the same time. They must remain together and cannot split up. Either the entire tribe is on your team or none of the tribe is. In battle tribes must fight together. If multiple tribes are in your party, say two tribes of three Pokemon, you may only switch between members of the same tribe and may not switch to members of the other tribe until the battle is over or the entire first tribe has been knocked out. Oh yeah, we're fine. It's not against the rules, but they're probably assuming the game doesn't have automatic EXP share, but it's not a huge deal. But in like, pretty much all the games, you can turn on EXP share. There's nothing in here accounting for EXP share, and like... All of the games, basically... Uh... I mean, EXP all is a different story, but EXP share has existed for a very long time. And there's nothing in here saying you couldn't put your EXP share onto one of the one of the other tribe members. Wait, as you are just intentionally being a contrarian. It's an item in the older games. Yeah, EXP share has been a thing in like all of the games almost. It's just EXP all, which is. What, um... The games have on by default now? It's something that you usually had to... It's an item you usually had to unlock in a, uh... Or obtain at a much later point. Full party EXP shares from Sword and Shield? EXP all has... When did EXP all come out? 
But no, you can't even turn it off in this game. When did the XP all come off? Oh, EXP all has been a thing since Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. I thought it came out later than that. But apparently you can get the XP all. In the original games. You have to have at least 50 species of Pokemon in your Pokedex. It's an item that you can't sell, but you're able to put it, place it in your PC if you wish. Um, the XP all gives half of the experience gained in the battle to any of the Pokemon that took part in the battle, then the other half is split between every Pokemon in the party, even the ones that didn't battle. So, for example, if I had six Pokemon in my party and battled a Pokemon that gave out 1,200 XP using two, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, that's neat. I had no idea XP all was in the original ones. You got it late in the original one. You've always gotten it late in the games. Now they're like, screw it, here you go. Personally, I know it's controversial. I know it's controversial, but I like EXP all. <laughs> I like EXP all. I think it's I think it's fine. What the hell am I doing? Wrong thing. XP all was a key item in Gen 1. XP share was a held item from Gen 2 to Gen uh, Gen 5. Then it became a key item. Ah, I don't think I ever found the XP all in my first playthrough. You should be able to turn it off though. I just don't know why you can't. Like, you can customize the dialogue boxes in this game, but you can't disable the XP all? Like, I definitely don't think you should be forced to play it. To play with it on, if you don't want to play it with it on. XPL is a good quality of life, even Shin Megami Tensei, a series known for being ball-bustingly difficult, does the XP that way? I can't hear that... Can't unhear that sickin' Pippa sounds like... That Ian anime V... What? Water's already figured out how to get rid of it? I doubt it's that hard to turn it off. But, um... Man, in my playthrough of Pokemon Red... Or not Red, uh... Po I want to say Red and Blue, but I only played Blue and Yellow. Why did I choose Red and Blue? I played... Mm. Mm. Ah! I gotta take a drink. Man. It's fucking cold. I never played Red. I did not. The Red on the Game Boy Color hurt my fucking eyes. Hmm. I would have gotten Pokemon Red. But that a red color on the Game Boy Color was too much on my eyes. Uh Pokemon Yellow was the biggest disappointment of my life. Pokemon Yellow was the biggest disappointment of my life. When I saw you could take your Pokemon out with you. And then it was just Pikachu. It was literally just Pikachu. Pikachu was the only one... ...that you could take the fucking Pokemon out. Not only was the game not that different... ...from Red and Blue. But also, the only Pokemon you could take out of the fucking Pokeball. ...was Pikachu. And that just, that just fucking killed me inside. Face all the Pokemon are inferior. I didn't want Pikachu! Did you play it when it was new? Uh, it was new for me? I... I did not play the games as they came out, but I play the games as they became second-hand. <laughs> I played the games as they, um... It's literally called Pikachu Special Edition. That doesn't matter. It pissed me off. Basically, my... my childhood. I shouldn't have gone and healed this early. Uh, basically, my childhood was like... Uh... Being... being like 10 years behind on technology because... Maybe 
not 10 years. Probably not 10 years, but like... Maybe like 5 years behind on technology. Because like... Like, as I was growing up... There was new stuff coming out, you know? But... My family couldn't afford the new stuff. So... A console generation behind, basically. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. So, like... While other kids might have been playing GameCube, I was still playing, like, the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. It was GameCube! My... Wait, when the fuck did GameCube come back? Come out. No, the Wii, okay? So, like, instead of playing the Wii when the Wii came out, I was playing, like, GameCube, right? When people were playing, uh, the, the PlayStation 3... I still had a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2. <laughs> um... Once you had a PlayStation 2, you didn't need much else. Man, the fucking PlayStation 2? And the Game Boy Advance. Man, that was fucking incredible. The PlayStation 2 and the Game Boy Advance... ...were so good. Uh, and then the DS came out, and I got hooked on the DS. I got so hooked on the DS. And when I was into the DS... Uh, retro games weren't really, like, a thing yet. Like, people didn't really care about retro games. Like, it wasn't a big hobby yet. Like, now, retro game collecting is, like, this big deal. I mean, there were definitely people doing it, but it just wasn't as mainstream. So, I would just collect... Second-hand DS's, because... They're fucking cheap, right? They're fucking cheap! I did the same thing with Game Boy Colors. I had multiple Game Boy Colors. Because, uh... After a couple years, right? Nobody cared about them. After a couple years, people would... People would sell, like, their old systems for, like, 10 bucks. With a bunch of games. I got, like... I got like 40 Xbox games. And a fucking Xbox. And two Xbox controllers. For like 30 bucks at a yard sale. Because nobody cared back then, right? Nobody cared about, uh. Like. like reselling their, their stuff. You could only ever trade it in to like GameStop. And GameStop would give you like 5 bucks for your fucking console? It was a ripoff. It was such a ripoff. PSP was pretty sweet. I never had a PSP. Yo, some 10. Thank you for the 333. What was your favorite color variant of the Game Boy Color? Okay, my... I have a lot of nostalgia for my first Game Boy Color. My first Game Boy Color was like the deep purple. But then I also got... The, uh... Transparent purple. And the teal. And I really like the transparent one. I really like the transparent one. All I have left is a 360 and a PS Vita. Never letting go. I still have... I have PS Vita. I have, um... And my PS Vita. I have a bunch of DSIs. Oh. Not DSIs. I have a bunch of DSs. I still have my original DS. My original... Uh... DSi, which is pretty broken. I have the orange Mario DSi. Uh, I have a DS Lite, the red one. My original DSi was the black one. Looks so fucking good. I had it in a Nerf case and everything. Um... I'm very picky about my console colors. I'm very, very picky about my console colors. So, like, the first console I get is usually just gonna be default colors, right? But once I have, like, the money to be able to put out for, like, a brand new one or one of the fancier ones, like, after I've saved up a bit and I know I like the console, I'll usually upgrade to a different color. Like, my 3DS, I had the, um, 
I ended up trading this in. I regret it so much. I regret trading it in. It was a it was a gift from uh from Grandma Kim. I regret trading it in. My DSI was also a gift from Grandma Kim though, and I still have that. Um But my original 3DS was like the teal. The teal shiny. And I I traded it in because I wanted to upgrade to the X and Y version. And I wanted the fucking red one. I pre-ordered the fucking red one. I go to GameStop. What do they tell me? What do they tell me? We sold out of our pre-ordered versions. And I'm like, what do you mean you sold out? I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it. What do you mean you sold out of your pre-orders? And then they were like... I don't know what to tell you. We sold out. We only got so many in. And I was like, I pre-ordered it though! What do you mean? You didn't hold it for me? Why did you take more pre-orders than you actually had? <sighs> I was so pissed. And then they... They... Saw... They had one left on the counter. It wasn't the red one. It was the blue one. The blue... X and Y 3DS. They had one more on the fucking counter. The blue one. And it was reserved. It had a little name sticker on it. And they pulled off the name sticker and they said... Okay, well, I guess this one's yours then. And I'm like... I was so fucking mad. I was so fucking mad. Now you know where your red went, basically! I feel so bad for whoever else pre-ordered. Did you pepper spray anyone? No. I wasn't actually mad in store. I mean, like, I was mad in store, but I was, like, standing behind Papakin. Like, I, I did pre-order it. We came in here. Remember when I made you come in here to pre-order this? And Papakin was like, yes, I remember. I remember getting out of bed early to go pre-order it in this stupid console. <sighs> at first, at first, Papakin didn't understand. At first, Papakin did not understand my gaming addiction. But eventually, when when he realized that I would spend literally all day, like my summers, my summers off from school, I would spend all day laying in bed. Drinking Mountain Dew and playing Pokemon on like the DS. Before the DS came out, I'd lay on the fucking ground playing goddamn Pokemon, fucking gold. Wait, I had silver. I had silver originally, I think. Ah, I had both copies because I got them secondhand, but I think I played on silver. I fucking lay there playing. Uh. Fucking ruby, silver, like... Always been addicted to Pokemon. Always, always been addicted to Pokemon. Um... And that's just all I do, man. That's just all I do. And then I discovered, uh... Before I was too skittish. But when I discovered teachers don't search your bags or anything, really. You know? As long as you don't... Go around flashing your game console at school? Nobody will know you have it, right? So I'd start taking my, my DS... ...and my Game Boys... ...to school. And I'd play them on the bus ride back, and it made it so much more tolerable. And that's just all I do. That's just all I fucking do. I was too paranoid of it getting stolen. As long as nobody knew you had it, it shouldn't have been a problem. But, um... Man. I am... So... So nostalgic. What if you had a knife? I got news for you, buddy. A lot of kids bring knives to school. Boy. 
God, it was so nostalgic, man. It was so nice. And Papa Kin didn't get it at first. But then eventually, it got to a point where it's like, yeah, all this kid wants to do is drink soda and play video games. <laughs> so... Instead of like, um... I think my... I think my parents tried to like, save money for other stuff. Like, I think my parents thought that I, like, wanted a lot of stuff. For presents for, like, Christmas or my birthday or whatever, you know? And they'd usually try and... Like, wait to pick me up, uh... Goodies for those times, but... Then... Then I got to the age where I could really articulate and I was like, you know, I don't... I don't want a lot of stuff. I just want the new consoles when they come out. <laughs> I don't... I don't need... I don't need a bunch of toys or anything. I just want... I just want the new consoles. I just want the new games. And new consoles were still too much, you know. New consoles were still too much for quite some time. The only console that I ever got, like... Really, really new... Was the Wii. Uh... Partly because Mama Ken really wanted it. Thank you for becoming a big TP Pippa was literally me. <laughs> um, so Papa Ken and Mama Ken went out to the store and they actually waited in a really long line to get the Wii. Yeah, Dow Twist. Yeah, my parents, my parents stood in line for I think like two hours. Yeah, it was advertised as the family console. And Mama Ken played it a lot. Mama Ken was a really big fan of uh Zelda. So, when... We didn't know it existed on GameCube. At the time, but when she found out uh, Twilight Princess was on the Wii... She ended up playing... Twilight Princess. Like... Hardcore. <laughs> um... Yeah. My grandma had to go to several stores to get me the blue version because they only had red. Of the Wii? My parents only got the white version. I know there were other colors. I don't think I've really, I've really seen them. Demo discs? Demo discs were fucking AIDS. I hated demo discs. They were the biggest disappointment. The Wii though was a good console. To have parents get, get it when it came to video games. Yeah, I feel like the Wii really um. I feel like the the Wii kind of made parents like also understand the appeal of video games. I mean, I know that's what you said, but like there were so many games that were so family friendly, and the Wii was so accessible compared to other consoles. Like the menu was super simplistic, and everything was really laid out finely. Pokemon Blue was the new one in Japan. It's red and green. Hmm. Um. On a PS2 holiday demo disc, they did a recall on it because it was erasing people's save cards. Oh my god. Chad, do you remember going to Walmart to buy a fucking memory card? You remember going to Walmart to buy memory cards? Oh man, and a new console would come out and you'd be like, oh. I don't know how much memory I need. I don't know how much memory I need. <laughs> how many... How, how... How... Like, how much can, uh... How many games can one of these hold? Like, how, how many save files can one of these hold? Like, I have no fucking idea. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> uh... It was expensive, too. Memory cards were hella expensive. I was constantly having to save over a lot of my games. Because they're just too expensive. But why are we old? <laughs> We're not that old. Doesn't Xbox still have memory cards? I mean, the uh, Switch has memory cards. Kind of. I mean, it has uh, SD cards. Same concept. 
Uh, some clear red and blue cards, man. I never got any of those. I never got any of those, man. All mine were like the shitty plastic gray ones that are like solid. Oh man. Do caves count as new routes? I don't. Do, do caves count as new routes? I have no idea. Um. Is your PS2 modded? I don't have a PS2 anymore. These are new routes? Oh, nice. Okay. Let's, uh, roll our D6. Six! Holy shit! Six Zubats, baby! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Six Zubats! <laughs> Oh no, we're gonna have to completely clear out our. <laughs> we're gonna have to like completely clear out our thing. Oh god. Oh. You know what we should do? We should go back and get the um. Oh, so, uh, deal, dude. The company's inclining, bro. <laughs> we should go back and we should get the old rod. Oh, will this not come out, do you think? Is water gun too strong? I don't think water gun's too strong. It should be fine, right? Like crit? There's no special defense? Who's gonna die? You think we should just... Um... Okay, let's just... Let's just do this the hard way. Aw, oh, man, are you gonna... Uh... Oh, okay. Um... What was I gonna say? Just throw a ball? I wanna lower it at least a little bit. It's four times weaker than stab. <laughs> um. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, for those of you who are curious about that outfit, I don't know if anyone's still thinking about that, but the outfit that I was thinking of. It was on a website called Nazima. I wanna do some digging. Don't graduate alone! <laughs> Shut up. Here comes the earthquake spam. Spams? The tanuki? No, the rabbit. The white. The white hair. I don't know if anyone's that curious, but... What was the website again? Nizima. N-I-Z-I-M-A. Just blast him! No! Tom is doing one damage! Shut up, chat. What are some other... What are some other, like... Things? We're coming up on our six-month anniversary. Not really an anniversary. Celebration? Everyone calls it an anniversary, but an anniversary is one year, goddammit. Milestone. Coming up on the six month milestone. I'm already feeling nostalgic. I'm already feeling nostalgic, Chad. Is that bad? It's weird to think that the Hollow Live girls haven't been streaming that long. Every day you survive is a milestone. Good night, Archon of Play. Good night, sleep well. I'm going 
you. I feel like my content hasn't really. <laughs> I feel like I haven't really grown that much. But I'm still in my own head. <laughs> I'm still in my own head. Okay, what generation is this? What color was the sweater? Pink. If I remember correctly. I've grown sideways, yeah. Gen 1! This isn't Gen 1! We already had Gen 1! It was V-Singer! Gen 2! Not Gen 21. Gen 2. Minerals! <laughs> Architects! Oh shit, that's a neat name! Architects. That's fucking cool. You cheated already. How did I cheat? Hoseki? Oh, Hoseki. Wait. <laughs> um. <laughs> Gabbers. <laughs> Gabbers. A lot. Okay, this is gonna be a full team of six. A full, a full generation. My bad. A full generation of six. Let's see if everybody survives. Yeah, unless I kill another one. Chat, I got this. Okay, what do we what do we name him? Gary. <laughs> name him Foss. We already have a Foss. We have Hydro Foss. Foster Butter. <laughs> what the fuck? Rock. Should we just hold on? Foss. Oh, we already have a Foss. Fuck no. Okay, we fucked up. We fucked up, and there's no name. <sighs> Wait, I thought we get access to the PC box whenever. Okay, I'm just gonna run from any encounter. There's a name changer. Yeah, there's a name changer, but you have to uh, unlock it later? Didn't name the Abra. Yeah, we did. The Abra's name is Abra. I'm not gonna reset! Man, chow, fuck off. Listen, I'm not the only one in history to have fucked up. And accidentally backed out of the name thing, alright? Just catch another one. No, this is ours. What do we... What do we name it? Can you prove that? Yes, go to like any no lock stream. It always happens, I swear. Cairngorn! Okay, that Geodude will be, uh, Cairngorn. Uh, 
Um, I'm not gonna reset. Hold on. Okay, let me grab Geo Dupes. Put on screen. How the fuck is a Geo Dupes? So hard to so hard to find sprites. I don't even know why. I found a nifty little list, and I didn't realize it left out so many. Even at the F word, man. What the fuck? Ooh, let's use the OG Diamond and Pearl art style. This is cool. We're getting like a different um. We're doing different art styles for each gen. That's kind of neat. Have you not saved it all yet? Nope. How do I save? Oh, that button. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Um... Let's go to the left. I have an idea. I have an idea. I think we can go to the left here and we can get the old rod. And we can use this to go into the cave, use Rock Smash to break... No, fuck! Fuck! Shut up! How many Pokemon gens are there? Um... Fuck, I don't know. Too many. Eight? We can use this. And we can use Rock Smash in the cave, I think. Do we have Rock Smash yet, actually? I'm not sure if we can use it yet. We might need to b beat the first gem. We might need to beat the first gem. It's kind of... It kind of sucks that... Our second... That Gen 2 is... 6. Because if we had... Uh, it's gonna be good... To be able to, um... It's gonna be good... If we lose a bunch of Gen 0. Because, like, we can switch between them. But it's also... Oh yeah, we can't use it yet. Just graduate the ones you don't like. We could theoretically graduate the ones we don't want. If you get a tentacle, name it Ventricusus. Mm. Uh, graduate. We don't need to graduate them. We can just put them in the... There's no strategical advantage to graduating anybody. Right now, anyways. Graduated this contest means skill. Um... Jesus Christ. That did so much damage. Don't you have to use all of the gen unless you graduate them? I thought we could store them in the box. I'm pretty sure with with uh tri block we can put them in the box. We just have to use each tribe all together. And we can't switch between tribes when we're battling. So the ideal setup would, I guess, be to have a, um, a full team of one, of one generation. So like, right now with Gen 0, we have Gen 0 and we have Gen 1 in our party. But I can't use... 
I can't use ABBA. Because ABBA's all alone in Gen 1. So we can switch between all of Gen 0. We can switch between all of Gen 0, but we can't... We can't switch between Gen 0 and Gen 1. So like, if... If uh, Air Force dies... Graduates? If Air Force graduates... <laughs> we can't switch to ABBA. But if Grapecon, Hydrofoss, Air Force, and Bortzera all graduate, we can switch to ABBA. Or we can start a battle with ABBA. And... Use ABBA. Can I enjoy two of those Gen Zero birds? No! <laughs> Imagine someone caring enough about you to lock you in a box, but it's time to be alive. What the fuck? Doesn't Abba only have teleport for right now? For right now, but Alakazam's a pretty powerful Pokemon, right? If my Yoshi Air Force graduates, I'll commit on a live in Minecraft! <laughs> I'm starting the date. Nah, uh, management takes people behind the shed and graduates there? Oh my god. The name of No! Shut up, chat! Oh, Alakazam requires training. Fuck! Can I trade? Can I trade Abba to one of you and you guys trade her back? Can I trust you guys? But, uh, no. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> Fucking Gen 1 gets sniped. Gen 1. <laughs> I was gonna reference something, but I'm not gonna reference it. Give it to Leah. Oh, that could be fun. That could be really fun, actually. The other girls are also playing these memes. We could always, we could always trade with each other. Actually, that'd be really neat. Maybe we can trade, like, um... Like, we can swap some people out. That would be really fun. Le uh, Leah's playing trade with her. She might not give it back. Either, <laughs> but you have a better chance. How's Leah's Nuzlocke going? Leia named a Pokemon after... She did? Oh my god! Is her Nuzlocke going alright? Trading VTubers between agencies like a sports team. I was gonna say... I was gonna say... Um... There's... There's been incidences of that happening. Usually not so straightforward about it, but... Or you feel touched? Ask what Pokemon she named? Well, Garbodor's not in this, so that's something. I don't want to talk to you yet. I want to... This is a much closer place to heal at. Leah just finished her nose stream. Was it a Bidoof? <laughs> or a Geodoof? Or a Zubat? I actually really like Zubat. I think Zubat is a really cute Pokemon. Was it something typically perceived as being ugly, though? Bidoof? Mm. Pain. Didn't even wait. Didn't even wait for Boniri. I love the shiny Crobat is pink. Same. I'd really love to get a shiny Baneer. Maybe we'll shiny hunt. You guys want to do like an eight-hour long stream where it's just it's just me and the uh, what's that NPC's name? Cheryl? Cheryl? What's her name? I acted without thinking. <laughs> I acted without thinking. 
You have the shiny claws. I don't know what that is. Oh, shiny claws. That's when... Oh, uh, they have sturdy, so it's fine. Um... Shiny claws is when you can catch something if it's shiny. Regardless of all the other... Uh, like, regardless of how much you have left. Yeah, sturdy saved me. Okay, we can give this one a name. This one's also a female. What the fuck? Start thinking of names, chat. We need a first name and a last name. This is part of Gen 2. Gemmers. I think Shining Claws is fine. I would never pass up on a shiny Pokemon. Geo the Rock? Man, you guys suck. Bismuth. Finally. Biz. Isn't it spelled with a S? I don't know. Bismuth. Jim? Let's do it. First and last name, chat. Wait, why did it add to a party? I want you to send to a box. It is an S? Well, now it's a Z. For stylistic reasons. Isn't Bismuth a mineral? Who the fuck cares, chat? Is this cave the same cave as... Oh, I'm not. I was gonna say, is this the same cave as the one where we go to... The, um... When you go... When you go to find... Bork? Is that his name? I don't remember. When you go... When you go down to the mining caves down here... There's more Pokemon you can catch? I guess that's another... I guess that's another area? Is there a grass patch up here? There's a grass patch up here too, chat! Let's finish catching Gen 2. Let's finish catching Gen 2. And then we'll we'll move on to over there. I think catching Pokemon is pretty fun anyways. Catching Pokemon is pretty fun. Oh my god! Another one! Is that grass patch a new route? Yeah, it's 207. Fuck. They all have sturdy, right? I probably shouldn't chance it. More fucking rocks, chat! More rocks! It's like half the point of the game other than battling. True. Can this one be named the F word? Friend? They're minerals. <laughs> Ram Ranch really rocks. Feldspar? See, man, I think you I think you recommended that before. Let's let's name this one Feldspar. Bang, 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 bang. He has thirty. Just blast it. I'll throw a Pokeball first. I have twenty-seven of them. We so named the Baneri after you. She got she got to the Baneeries? Man, you don't have diamond, otherwise you could have named Dialga after Daya. That would have been amazing. This many boulder Is it you dude so its name has to be after something useless? Should we make this one like our speedster, maybe? I only vaguely know about, um... Unremarkable Matthew. I only, um... Know a little about the competitive stuff. Okay, so you want Feldspar? Yeah. 
We're gonna separate that into two parts, so it's... A proper VTuber name. Wait, no, send it to... Ah, shit! No, I forgot to deposit the other one! So I think that one got a little bit... Oh, it's fine, whatever. One of them got a little bit of extra EXP, but whatever, it's fine. This is not a very serious no lock run. Wait. Yeah. Bismuth Gem was still in our party. It's fine, though. We don't need a reset! Fuck off! Why do you guys want to reset so bad? You want me sitting here forever? Please stop. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Finally, something. Fuck. I'll just shove that there. Fuck! Finally, something other than a goddamn Geodude. I cherish every moment spent on your wire. Ah, oh, please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, it's no longer gemmers. You want it, You really wanted it to be an entire party of Zubats? Never thought I'd see anyone so happy to see a Zubat. Listen, in my personal run... In my personal run of... Pearl... I kept the Zubat in my main party. I haven't finished the game yet. But, um... Yeah, I kept Zubat. I really like Zubat. I think Zubat's one of the cutest Pokemon, actually. I don't know if I'd put Zubat in my top 10, but I'd put... I'd probably put Zubat in, like, at least my top 20. I think it's really cute. I really love bats. Zubat is great. Mm, I think Zubat's is really cute. I don't know about how good it is for fighting, but I think it's really cute. Um... <laughs> OP, no! Come on, chat. Name it! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! You want you chat fine fine this is what you wanted this is what you wanted chat this is what you wanted fuck you this is what you wanted uh why are we using diamond and pearl sprites all right Pop that up on screen. Come on. I think Zubat's really fucking cute. I look away from one minute and come back to a Zubat named Chapter. <laughs> Why, bros? Nah, I ask that question every day. Why are you named the Zubat wrong? It's spelled Geodude. We put a space in it for... For it to be a VTuber name. Why is Gen 0 animated but the other two aren't? I don't know, we can make Gen 3 animated. Gen 3 can be animated. You can immediately tell this Gen was caught in the cave. <laughs> Gen 2 was either gonna be our biggest regret... Our biggest accomplishment. <laughs> Budget constraints, it's true. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, come on. Come on. 
We have two more spots for Gentle. Fuck! Is there nothing else in this cave? Is there literally nothing else in here? Thought Tribe had real duplicates. Nope. They have sturdy, I think, so I'm just gonna risk it. Fuck you! Well, fuck! What happened now? We lost one. What's the story for this one, chats? Um... Gemma Jemina... ...of Gen 2 Gemmers... ...graduated before debut. She ha yeah, she had a pre-debut yab. Fuck off! Zin Crow! Somebody told me they had the sturdy ability! You got arrested by the feds? Yeah, she got involved with illicit illicit substances and um We had to fire her. She lied about her age. She also lied about her age. <laughs> Caught with some fucking <laughs> One time she had a Manhara moment, we told her to go touch grass, but didn't expect her to go quite as far as she did. Is <laughs> that joke too far? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Gentle, let's go! Right on. Ah, oh, fuck! I love Geo doing the party too! Man. It's a bit hard to keep up with uh, immediately depositing them. Name it Geo. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> there we go. Send to a box. So much. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's zero o'clock right now, chat. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that joke, Kasoiru. <laughs> okay, and now we have. You guys wanna go for the. There's also the cave that the gym leader is in. Do you guys want to do the gym leader cave, or do you want to do... The, um... The grass patch up top? <laughs> this little chuck fuck off. So there's the grass up here, or we can go... We'll touch the grass? T touch grass? Touch grass? Touch grass? I touch the grass. <laughs> also, I forgot to roll. Hold on, let me roll. Can't can't roll any lower than a one. Well, I mean, there's that. I rolled a fucking one. I rolled a fucking one. Gen three is one fucking shield. <laughs> 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 One 
should be cool so wrong. <gasps> this is such bullshit. Sensei. These rolls are great. These rolls are fucked. Pokemon was a mistake. It's nothing but trash. Pipkin Miyazaki. These are all fucking Pokeball. Awful lot of. <laughs> oh, we got it. What do we name it? What do we name it, chat? We're just gonna call this Gen 2 Season 2. We're still gonna follow the rules. We can't use them with Gen 2. Rock. Disappointment, Sensei. <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> Season two. <laughs> we got a little cheap with the model. <laughs> Chill, do, do. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Let's do it. You've been saying that for a while, Dad Twiz. Let's go with it. Dwayne. There's not gonna be enough. Dwayne! <laughs> I love Sento season 2 as my favorite! Wow, that was disappointing! Wow! Wow, that was fucked up! Alright, chat, Gen 2. Gen 2 is the most fucking disappointing thing. <laughs> wow! Actually, we can keep him though. We can keep we can keep Dwayne in our party. And now we go down here. And this is another fucking area. We're in the Orberg mine. So I'm gonna roll for this one. Five! Five, chat! We have five more slots. I like how much catching is involved in this Nuzlocke. Oh, get rid of that. I'm running out of space on my screen. Um, let's just... Hold on. Copy this. Onyx are on the lower floor? Fuck yeah, let's go for those. Okay, so this will be Gen 3. And... What should... What should Gen 3 be, chat? Let's try and make it to the bottom floor as quickly as possible so we can try and get on it. <laughs> Do repels count? I don't think I have any. Oh, dudes! Honestly, Gen 2 I might not even use depending on how uh, Gen 3 turns out. Rock show jump. Depending on how Gen 3 turns out, we might not need Gen 2. Gen 2 might get kind of... Gen 2 might be the forgotten generation, chat. No song covers, no originals, no... no promotional art. <gasps> Jail 710, no, what the fuck? That's what Sakuna says about Gen 2, I believe it. I believe it. Chat, how would you feel in my shoes? Do you live on the... Do you live on the high knowing that... Like, if you were in my position knowing that... You got into Face Connect in Gen 1 and... Feels good, man. Like, now Gen 2 is coming along and... 
Like, same thing with Hollow Life. How do you think, like, the older members of Hollow Life feel? In that... It's entirely possible. I'm not saying any of them aren't good. But if any of them applied to Hollow Life now, they might not get in. Like, if I applied to Face Connect now, I probably wouldn't get in. I would not get into Face Connect right now. Gen 2 is... I think Gen 2 is pretty stacked. I don't think I'd get into Gen 2. Super talked about that a lot? You think? I really think so. I should plan... I'm not being negative. I'm just being, like, practical about it. Doomer, I'm not being a doomer! It's not push-up time! What do we name it? What do we name this one? It's not really a rough thought, you know? It's like, it's a... It's a battle of the... <laughs> uh... Survival of the fittest. Not really. Rocky Balboa? Doomer dude? I think... You think you're gonna get dwarfed by Gen 2? Oh, probably. Geolude? Sure. Well, it's gonna be Geolude. This is our titty streamer generation chat. No, fuck! <laughs> um... Come on. Is this the second one? Can we make it? Fuck! We won't abandon you for the newer, younger tubers? Tubers? I would understand if you did, though. Apparently, applications for Hollow Life used to be in the tens, but I think Super said now they're in the hundreds or maybe thousands. They're definitely in the thousands because the applications for Phase Connect were in the hundreds. The applications for Phase Connect were in the hundreds and were pretty small. Don't worry, we aren't great comebacks. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, OP. But, um. It's kind of crazy. I think Super said 18,000? Damn, I would hate to be one of the interns. I would hate to be one of the interns. Sorting through all those applications. Oh, well, thank you, Bingo Panda. But not chill. <laughs> I mean, every every VTuber brings something of their own to the table, you know? Every VTuber brings a little bit of themselves to the table. There no there no really VTubers that are exactly alike. No matter how diluted how diluted the pool gets. be replaced, you know? If you if you got somebody that was exactly like Pakora, they would not be exactly like Pakora because if they're not Pakora, then they're not Pakora, you know? And that's not even getting into like how the model ties into things, you know? Okay chat, we need another name for another fucking deal dude. I will bring up some more art. Like, I hate to be one of those people that's like, everybody's special and unique, but like... People can art... can art... Geo nuked? <laughs> yeah, this one's Geo nuked. <laughs> um... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Triblog was a mistake? Yes, it was. Oh, uh, what should we... We'll use the black and white two animated sprites for this gen. We also need a name for this gen. Oh. 
I need to start making these smaller, we're running out of space. Is that, is that right? Probably. Cave Johnson! Jesus Christ. Oh, I just instinctively put a third one thinking we're gonna get a third one, but we don't know! We don't know! Okay, come on, come on. Put it anyways, man! Gen 3 got 3D before Gen 2. Geodude Ranch. Yeah, Pokeball! Okay, come on. Give us an onyx or something. Give us something different. Give us something different. Fuck! I didn't want to fight you! Fuck. Don't you do it only! Fuck you! Creating rammers, but you had to fuck off. Man. Man! I'm pretty excited for Gen 2, though. At first, I was very doomer about Gen 2. I was very doomer about Gen 2. I was like, fuck. Gen 2 is gonna come out. I'm already, like, the least popular in my gen. I am gonna be... Well, my gen and my branch, I guess. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be the fucking... I'm gonna be the leech. I'm gonna be the leech. <laughs> I'm gonna be... I'm... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna drown in a sea of actually talented people. But once the... Uh, once the... Uh... I guess once the self-pity, I guess, wore off... Then I was able to... Realize, you know, it's like, you know what? It's not a... It's not a competition. And... Instead of... Being upset that people are more talented than me. It is fully within my realm of abilities to improve, you know? Instead of instead of being afraid of being the being like a leech or being outclassed. Like I can I can improve, you know? I can improve. That's why I like with singing lessons. I have long since run out of paid for singing lessons. I am now paying out of pockets. Because it's just a it's just a val valuable thing to have, you know. I wanna keep improving, so I'm gonna keep push ups. No, I'm being I'm being positive. Bat zoo? Oh my god. When is the next karaoke stream? I don't know. I figured for my next karaoke stream, I wanna... Two view? Oh my god. For my next karaoke stream, I wanna actually practice some songs. I showed my music teacher, um... Ludbat? Sure. Oh, your bats is pretty good too. Hold on, we already have a loot joke. Let's do your bat. Or your bite, your bat. Um. I showed my music teacher Sabaton and I was like, hey! You said to send things that I like. I like Sabaton. And she looked at me and she said, Pippa? Those so you can buy some geo. Oh my god, and I'm thinking for the 420. 
Um, fuck! Um, Pippa, this is like the as opposite from you as we could possibly get. Are your music teacher your karaoke mods? Maybe. I actually use last karaoke as a reference. Um, because we're trying to we're trying to. Decide, like, what a route to go, I guess, with... Um... What the fuck, Krampus? <laughs> um... Like, what a route to go, like, what songs to practice? And I tried... I tried practicing, uh, nodding from Matilda... And I wasn't really vibing with it... And... I kind of... I was like, you know, I want to, like, strengthen my voice. I want to try, like, really... Just improving, like, raw talent. And now it was like, let's try, uh... A Phantom of the Opera song. I practiced that. Wasn't feeling it. So... Um... I showed her the sabaton stuff, and I was like... How about something like this? <laughs> and she was like... This is completely different from your voice. Like, there's... You could hypothetically do it, but it is... It is... As different... As opposite from your voice as it can possibly get. Geoboob? Sure. <laughs> Um... Right on time? That's a Gura song. I don't want to be a discount Gura, you know? I don't want to just sing Gura songs. Uh, good night? Ah, good night, Maniacal... Fuck! Good night, Maniacal Foreigner. But, so eventually I was like, well, I did a Christmas stream. And people were saying I did the Christmas stuff pretty alright. And I listed off the ones, and she was like... Yeah, Gen 2 is looking a lot like... Or, Gen 3 is looking a lot like Gen 2. Um, <laughs> both Discount Gura and Discount Pakora. Impressive. <laughs> um... If you won't be a discount guru, then where will we go when we can no longer afford the real thing? Oof. You saw what? Think of the 1337 metal covers. Even if it doesn't work, it'll be funny. Hmm. The guru killer. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers! You guys thought... You guys thought all these other people would be the guru killer? Well, fuck you. Actually, the girl who debuted completely unable to sing? Watch your fucking back! <laughs> you could try sing or show a charming man from the Smiths. Really good song. Oh, it's your favorite color. What? <laughs> but um, but yeah. Well, they're killing words. Remember how I said that? Yeah, I remember, Krampus. I never thought that though about her. I don't think there is, like, a... Okay, we need one more Geodude pun. Um... I don't think there's such thing as a Gore killer, you know? Like, there's no way... Like, there... Jacksepticeye wasn't the Markiplier killer, so why in the VTuber community are people like, Oh, is this gonna be the Gore killer? Like, nobody fucking killed Markiplier. Him and Jacksepticeye exist. They coexist. Bob Smith. Geopi? Sure. Kills an honorable price again? Gura is like, wow, the only thing that can kill her is a self-yab of epic proportions. And no one killed PewDiePie either. Well... There goes this fucking gen. <laughs> you 
You're welcome, Grant. All of our government agents got together and chipped in to fund Pipkin so they can monitor us in one place? Oh my god. Markiplier had to look up... <laughs> That's right, Markiplier had to look out for the LA Kings! Fuck, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god. If there was such thing as a guru killer, the odds of one actually appearing are low. She has insane momentum. I think... I think somebody could... Could rise to like the same count as Gura, but to say anyone will ever like take her place, like that's just not fucking possible. Gura is my princess, but objectively she's beyond insanely talented and competent. Did old Pippa outfit have a hood? Uh, maybe I don't remember. When is the Neander's collab? Gura can brainwash people unwillingly with cuteness. I'm not really looking for collabs in general. If I collab with people... I'm really... I haven't really said no to collabs before. But I think I'm gonna start. I just... I just don't really enjoy doing collabs. Grant! <laughs> Um... I don't know, I just don't really like doing collabs. And if I do do collabs, I want to do them with like, uh... I've been talking with Remy Down Under a bit. Like... People that aren't really in the VTuber sphere as much. I'd rather... I'd rather collab with... People... People more outside the sphere, you know? Where is my princess, but I can be your advisor and courtship. What the fuck? Oddcast? Oh my god. But, um. What about that dude on Twitch who makes canoes? Sure. <laughs> sure. I need to tone it down, um, with the Yab clubs as well. It's... I'm not an intentional... Are you trying to reach out to Jim? Oh my god. I won't even try. Um... I've collabed with a lot of people who some might consider to be a little bit to bite. Collab with Jerma. Man, if you guys wanna like... I mean, obviously, don't go to people's chats and be like, Hey, do you want to collab with Pippa? But, like, if you guys... Like, if it gets brought up, you can suggest things, alright? Like, if some or if somebody mentions, like, Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind collabing with Pippa. You can let me know. But, like... You guys... You guys recommend these huge people. It's like, there is no way in hell... They would bother with me. Like, I started watching a bit of Jerma, because you guys talk about him a lot. I don't mean to be like a problem child with the with the Yabai people either. It's just like we all have very similar interests. Me and... and... I <laughs> sound so bad, but like me and a lot of the other Yabai VTubers. We have very similar interests. We have very similar, I guess, like, mindsets. So it's easier to... To collab with them. It's easier to not be nervous around them. The thing that's hard about collabing with, like, other VTubers... That are just... They're just normal VTubers. Is it's like... <laughs> it's like...
It's like collabing with like a normal person, you know? It's like hanging out with a normal person versus hanging out with like a... And that normal person is also a cute girl versus hanging out with like fellow... Dumpster divers. <laughs> And they're not necessarily normie normies. They're not like normie normies, but like... Hang along with normal people is a very valuable skill to develop. Probably. <laughs> But, um... Collab with Bird Prisoner win! I'd really like to. I would love to collab with Bird Prisoner. I've actually... I've actually, uh, reached out to Bird Prisoner. And I'm waiting for Bird Prisoner to respond to my DM. And not like every stream? Dude, every stream I just have Bird Prisoner crashing my stream. Bird Prisoner is too big, she won't respond, it's true. Bird Prisoner is too famous. Where's Bird Prisoner's Twitter? Bird Prisoner is too famous for Twitter. Bad at video games. I wouldn't mind collabing with her. Uh, did I just heal? Let's go heal. Boss is losing parts and changing. Yeah, Bark Prisoner does need to stream more, but apparently something about uh being too famous to stream. A lot of people, uh... Trust me, as you get older and older, you'll hate the sheet out of normies and increasing elaborate... ...and set in stone ways. If you don't know all now... ...you just realize your childish reaction to them was okay? Oh my god. I just... I know I have a special kind of personality. That doesn't appeal to a very wide audience of people. Yeah, Pipkin, yeah. <laughs> so it's also it's also hard to reach out to people for that reason. Like I just know. I just know, like I don't a lot of people don't vibe with me, and like, you can act nice and stuff over DMs, but like, people will see like, your streams or your reputation, they'll be like, Yeah, that fucking person, no way. And I know I'm paranoid, but I'm pretty sure that's how like, most people re like, react when they get a DM from me, so... You appeal to other awkward, angry people on the internet. Yeah, which a lot of other content creators are not awkward, angry people, so it's kind of... Who has more severe Pipkin? Pippa or her viewers? Oh my god. Oh yeah, so like... Chibidogi? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she wouldn't... Maybe she wouldn't mind me. I don't know. I have Pipkin and I'm self-aware. <laughs> you wear your heart on your sleeve more than a lot of other content creators. Yes. Uh, but that's a very nice way of saying I don't keep my mouth shut. Um, and here at Pipkin Scale, you're not as bad as you think, Pippa. I've seen really yab VTubers out there. It's all about optics, baby. And I do not have good optics. Asoyra, thank you for the 2,500 clip arts. Worst case, numbers are 
there's still numbers, Pippa. I don't think they get as concerned as you think. Hmm. Ironically, Pippa's filter... Pippa's lack of filter is the strongest filter. <laughs> we got our first match, baby! Well, what? Dirio Jim, what? What? What the f what? Wait, what? 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 There's a VTuber that ripped a fingernail off on stream? What? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? What? How do you not know that? I never fucking heard that! When did this happen? Stop right there! What's her name? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, bye! She wants on. Oh my god. <gasps> Are her DMs open? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, chat. It will make Pippa look normal. Oh my god. Remember Carol? Uh, no. There's so many fucking VTubers out there, you want me to remember them all? Pippa must learn how to be more Minhara. I must harness the Minhara. I must harness the Minhara. A fan also ripped their fingernails off and followed me! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck? Several fans! Oh, is she big? Is she big or her fans is also? Are you talking about the snail VTuber? Is that what it was? Snail VTuber? You're not talking about Picky, are you? The more niche the audience, the more yap proof the audience, right? And again! Oh, man! <laughs> what? So Pippa was the snail VTuber, man. What the fuck? Shock factors, you gotta keep driving it up. Yeah. That's why I like. Um. Oh, Papa Gorilla. Hello. Uh, what's content creation? You gotta, you gotta be, um... Your management is here, oh shit! <laughs> um... You gotta be careful, because, uh, here for some Yabs content update? Am I in trouble? Are you guys in the company Discord talking smack about me? Then... Yeah, Pippa is talking about ripping nails off and other stuff. Is that what's happening? You're always in trouble, I believe it. Yeah, 
vegetables are Romanian Vitobo are genuinely disturbed and the sadist with her taste in lollies. Full 100% goodbye, bordering on the psych ward. If I recall correctly, she was indeed an institution. What the hell? Is that true? Quick, purge it! I told management everything you've said. No! But, um... Man! The Bug Scarab Collab win! Oh man. But uh, yeah, that's the problem with content creation. Is if you if you uh do something crazy, you have to keep upping the stakes from there, you know. Can't believe I'm being told to go do reps on my own fucking stream. <laughs> Fuck off! Um... What's that mean for Hachima? It means she's gotta use something worse than a tarantula to shock her audience. Although you can kind of... You can kind of, um... Like, let things... <laughs> this is your audience after all, yeah. <laughs> Hello, chat. I was very surprised. Apparently, a bunch of my audience doesn't know a lot of this lingo. Um, do your reps is like, uh, basically means like go do your research, go do your. Go. <laughs> go look it up. Um, repetitions. Uh, it's a... it's an exercise thing. Uh, yeah, the normies have infiltrated. I didn't realize, but apparently I did... I did amass something of a normie audience. Hello, normies. How are you doing? We're not all denizens like you, Pippa. <laughs> and then I've attracted people from other sites that aren't that one site, but... Are also degenerate, but don't know like that degenerate lingo, so yeah, it's kind of crazy. Go do your rep. Shut up! And Pokemon does bring out the normies. Hello! Hello, people who are only here for Pokemon. Hello! How many new people are actually in here? I see a lot of the same names. Me, shut up. <laughs> Hi, I'm no shut up. I love the Pokemans. Man, fuck off, chat. I'm from Nine Gag. Sick. <laughs> wow. Finally tapping into that Nine Gag audience. I think I'm gonna go for Funny Junk next. <laughs> what? My funny balls. <laughs> Guy online rabbit. Oh my god. Hello, I'm from the Creek Crapper. Ah! <gasps> you know what's funny, chat? You know what's funny? Is I coulda... I coulda went that route. Came here from Reddit. Please teach me how to enjoy these streams. <laughs> Thank you for the 333. I... It's funny when people talk about, like, me abandoning my current content, or my current audience, I guess. Because it's like, I had that opportunity. Pretty early on. Was literally just thinking about Hachima, if she works for whole life, you can get much more to on it, without worrying. Cycles around to being normal? Yeah. Um... I come from Geocities, oh my god. Um... I could've. I could've... Went for a different audience, right there. I could've... I could've flipped on the say-so switch. And I could've... Went a completely different route. But I would've been miserable. <laughs> but I would've been miserable. Like... There is 
no switch? There is a switch. I could fake being Cecil. For the reading our dumples. I... I am versed in the YouTubes, chat. I... Know what it's like to make family-friendly content? Hong <laughs> Kong, thank you for the five dollars. Blue team like Mudkip. I know what it's like to make family-friendly content. And not just family-friendly content, but like kid-friendly content. And I don't fucking like it. I don't... I have a very specific type of humor. And it's what I like doing. I enjoy doing these streams. I enjoy my crazy streams. I enjoy my relaxed streams. But at the end of the uh, at the end of the day, I enjoy a very specific type of humor, and enjoy making references to crazy things. Turn the switch on for ten minutes. I could do it. I would filter literally all of you. But I can go kids' channel mode. But thank you for the 1337. Is this a new route? Shit post doesn't count as humor, Pippa. Shut up. But, um. Show us your power level. Do it for one whole stream? I will do. I will schedule a chat. Next week, I will schedule... ...a family-friendly stream. We will play something like Roblox or Animal Jam, and I will turn on the kids' channel mode. I will turn on kids' channel mode. And you guys will say, oh shit, she can actually do it. You made your bed, lie in it, chat. Magapata, thank you for becoming a big pee pee. Doubt it, let's see, kid friendly. I have. I have experience, chat. <laughs> What's the sleeper phase for the switch? <laughs> Um... Is this gonna be... Family friendly the same way Coco had the kid friendly VOD? Oh my god... Pippa has experience... Fuck off, chat. I have experience being like a kid friendly, uh... Person. Um... This is a different route, right? Route? Right? Oh, still a dice roll. Bam, baby! Let's go! Oh, man. I hated it, chat. I hated it. I hated family friendly stuff. I hated kid friendly stuff. Family-friendly isn't as bad. Like, I can not curse. Not cursing isn't that bad, right? But taking away my references to... Reptilians and... Making fun of Mark Zuckerberg and... Talking about Chris Chan. Taking that away from me. That's too much, man. Are you a man to binds? No. The reptilians and Zuck are kid friendly. Chad, I'm talking like I'm talking like um I'm talking like elementary school stuff, Chad. Okay, what gen is this? Gen four. 
Touch the grass. Thanks for recommending Inside Job. Binge it last night. Dude, the Inside Job was so fucking good. I watched that show the whole time. I was like, oh man, this is gonna turn into like some sort of cringe political commentary, isn't it? And it's like there was some stuff in there that was a little bit. But like, for the most part, man. That was a good fucking show. That was a good show. Inside Job is a really good show. They did not shy away. There was Edward Snowden whack a mole and a 7 Eleven, but replaced the 7 with a 9. <laughs> Godspeed! Lots of references. Oh man, it was so fucking good. Inside Job is such a good show. Something different! This <laughs> is experience with kids. That's why she isn't allowed to be within 100 feet of a school. Oh my god. Watching Inside Job made me wonder. Shit, I am. I just. I just need to throw a Pokeball. I don't think I can attack attack this without it dying. Watching Inside Job made me feel like I should be able to get away with a lot more. We're finally at a point. Shows can joke about that date. That's what I'm saying. I had never heard of it until I saw your tweets. I saw. Searched on Twitter and saw cringe ship art fan cringe ship fan art immediately. There's no like romancy stuff really in the show. There's like one joke episode, but it's not like it's not about shipping. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Oh the cutie stuff. I should be able to listen, I should send inside job to management. I should I should ask management to watch that show and then to say, okay, well that show exists. Pippa should be allowed to also make jokes, all right? You know what I'm waiting on permissions on? Do you know what I'm waiting on permissions on, chat? Being allowed to talk about a certain World War II flat earth conspiracy involving Antarctica. Listen, man. <laughs> What do we name it? <laughs> nah, I'm actually... The, the thing I'm specifically waiting on permissions on is, uh... Reacting to a conspiracy video. We'll see how that goes. Exposed? Oh, what if we... What if we do it fancy? We're getting... We're getting avant-garde with this gen. X... Pulse. Hmm. Avant-garde. Earth has the shape of a windmill. Man, I would love to do some conspiracy stuff. But manage management's like... Well, it has to be like a joke. Like something obviously absurd and I'm like, is anything obviously absurd in this life? Is there... Is there anything that's actually obviously absurd? The world's crazy, man. Let's go with, um... Here's let's go with Pokemon Ghost Sprites. Fucking that mummy or skinwalkers trying to condition me. Man, sometimes it does worry me, like, how, how much do management watch my streams and how much are they just, like, shaking their head no during all of it? No! 
Do you think, do you think management is just sitting there like... Yep, Peppa's doing her thing again while she thinks we're not watching. Every single stream? I believe it. I'm surprised Thorin Mumi watches as many of my streams as she does. They tune out five minutes in? I believe it. Well, that's the second cricket dot. And be like, Pippa is so nice. Dragon is probably just eating some peanut and shaking his head. Man. Management placing bets on how long until Pippa goes on a tangent? Probably. Is Mumi single? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Cricket knot. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, take so long to type. Is this gonna be a full gem? Gem? Gen? Is this gonna be a full gen? Of cricket dots? You think management hides in the Discord for fear of what they've created? Yeah, probably. Probably. Whoa! Something different! Something different! They'll evolve fast. Oh. Now that's the thing with bug types, right? Is they evolve fast, but they don't have very good stats. Let's hope it doesn't die. Yeah. But do it. Sometimes I wonder if management regrets their decisions, but they're too nice to tell me no. I like to do it. Ah. Do it. But um, they're good early game, late game. You gotta run with some gimmicks. Ah, I do. That's the upside of working for Canadians. <laughs> Man. In general, I just wish people would like... See how they really feel about things. Although I also know I get very paranoid. So like one time I messaged Mumi and I was like, Listen, you know, like if I ever step on your toes or anything, like if I'm ever obnoxious or like I'm... Like if I'm coming off wrong... Or whatever, you know, like just let me know, you know, like and I'll apologize or like I'll try to fix it, you know. And she was like, she was like, Pippa, Pippa, you haven't, you haven't done that at all. Like you haven't, you haven't annoyed me or stepped on my toes at all. Like you're, you're perfectly fine, Pippa. Or made me feel uncomfortable. And I was like, okay. Uh, and what I wanted to say was like, I know you're not telling the truth, but thank you. I hope you will let me know. But I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What I said was, um... Okay, thank you. Just let me know if I ever do anything. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I have mild... Not Pipkin, but, um... Push-ups. No, no, no. Listen, I'm I'm joking about it, and I'm joking about. It. <laughs> what if it was the truth? It might have been. It might have been. But in that moment, I was like, she's definitely lying. <laughs> what do we name it? What do we name it? Never knows when you lie. Oh my god. Bidoof. Bro. <laughs> Bro! Come on! You guys aren't 
chopping at the bit to name this thing? Earth God? Jesus Christ, chat. Mild anxiety? I don't know if mild is the appropriate word for that. The doofenshmirtz? Oh, there's not enough letters for that! Be... Doof... In... Badoofens me. <laughs> Badoofens me. Okay. No more slots. Severe crippling paranoia. That's a good term for it. Fuck. Severe crippling paranoia and distrust in others. Me, she has made it. I believe it's shorter if you type it in katakana. Oh my god, let's finish up Gen 4 and then I think I'm gonna call it for the night. It's coming up on 1 a.m. Chat seems like it has mellowed out quite a bit. I think you guys are getting a little bit sleepy, sleepy too. Chronic depression? Well, that's a whole nother... That's a whole nother issue. A nice long stream? I'm really enjoying Pokemon. I had zero intentions of streaming this, but I'm, I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. Once you start trusting strangers, things get pretty wild. Yeah. Morph. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's midday for you. Oh. Well, happy evening. Ready. Happy afternoon. Nice mellow stream. God damn it. So many duplicates. So many duplicates. Really? What what's been your guys' favorite gen so far? Going back to the Halo of the Master Chief collection. Oh. When are we gonna finish Pokemon Sword? Never. Oh, I might you want some cricket. Oh, I might you want some cricket. Gen 2 the Jeopardy! <laughs> Gen 2 season 2. <laughs> yeah, Gen 2 is pretty great. Fuck, man. Hello, Tuesday. Um, what should we... What should we name it? <laughs> Pippa finishes Pokemon Sword when it becomes Pokemon Gun, exactly. Gen Zero has my own... <laughs> Air Force! <laughs> Bill? Okay, it's a woman. It's a woman, Cricket! Cricket, female, but okay. A, f a fucking Cricket's name is Bill! Alright! Alright! Fucking Bill! <laughs> fucking Bill! Alright, there we go. We're ending it off. Jesus Christ. Fucking Bill, chat. My favorite was uh, Gen Gen 1. I really like V-Singer. I have high hopes for it. I gave it a nice Western art style. Because people in the West like realistic art. It can only end well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, Bridget <laughs> Bird. Uh, I'm gonna read off some names here, and I'm gonna close off stream. What's a cringe? 
cheese, you know, Xavier, Mr. Takis, then crow mum 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 their thrax. Grisdrin, Man of War, the Badger Cape, Monkey, a guy. Oh, moving fast. Uh I lost my place. Remember a charming man by the Smith? Uh and Perfect Kiss and Bizarre Love Triangle by New Order. Remember those songs the train you're singing? Okay, thank you for the thank you for the recommendations. Mr. Tanky, Zing Pro, Mumber Thrax, Girthrin, Man of Wars, Badger Cape, Monkey, A Guy, Sleepy Mike, Vulcan, JL710, Tamamo Respector, Dow Twist, Zenmar, Bored and Dead, Elamal, Grant, Lalagger, and War, Hikimono, Timote, Monkey, Taco, Mr. Mannequin, John, J John, John Sua, wow, Joshua, Nicholson, Zing Pro, Chalvel, James, Skinakaji. I lost my place again. God damn it. Ian David Valalabos Wall. Uh, Darkness King, Majestic One, Bingo Panic, Aegis. Lonesome Mesa, Dario Jim What, Guanaco, Zinkro, Dead Mag Gaming, Lord Saxmith, NPC, Z Man, Dow Twist, Scales Tipper, Notaname, Florbo Sagbag, Arco Blargo, DJ Link, Bored Undead, Dance Again, Fuddleton. Very nice name. Zarek. Or is it Zar Eric? I don't know. Uh, Freeze. Theo Bay? Tango Paddle? Beeps? Top Mod Senior? Dragonology? Mr. Mannequin? Dow Twist? Tuesday? Frank? Habano? Amon? Ay, extra mail! Archive Bro? Denied? Heart? Unintentionally Dramatic? Digested One? Cajianto Amos? Thank you guys so much for stopping by! Thank you, thank you, thank you! And sleep well, chat! Sleep well! Oh, it's a cringe! I said, how do